Why not? Alrighty, welcome to the OSRS podcast, the podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things, J mods, you know, all the stuff. Episodes coming out every Sunday, and because it's going to be a long episode, click the sub button, hit the icon, hit the like button, because, uh, yeah, you're sexy as hell. I'm one of your hosts, Mint Mad Cow, <laughs> with some of the people down below. Yo, what's going on, guys? Rake C here. How's it going, boys? And Rice Cup here. So uh, today we have a special guest. We have Mr. Zulu. He's Yo. a pretty big deal in the RuneScape community. It's pretty He's, cute. Uh, in the high scores top uh, 20. For skilling, he's also an avid pet hunter, and overall, he's just a very experienced player. Yeah, I play this game way too much. But uh, <laughs> what's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm uh, I'm tired as hell from dead by mood, man. I'm, I'm tired of from sleeping. Uh, I'm I'm hoping these guys take the reins on this one because my brain's just in DMMT at the moment. So are you taking the win this tournament? <laughs> with, your, uh, with your green dehyde. You're gonna be dude, you're gonna pal on Mika's yeah. cheeks. Make it to the 1v1 so please. please. There Make are so it. dude, there are so many like level 120s that have just been camping on my ass, like the barrows and doing desert treasure. I like, really wanna see <sighs> I wanna see you make it to the 1v1 stage and then have have them just like go to your 1v1. Like the oh, yeah, Rexy here with his blue dehyde and his bone crossbow. <laughs> I want you to get a kill too. That, totally. that was like two days ago, man. I'm better now. But like, it's they're all clanned up. Like all the clans are fed them. These guys have like bloody every oh, single yeah. PvP weapon you can imagine. Four oh, yeah. rims, like infinity boots, berserker rings, and stuff. Like you, you can't go. Combo guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, that, that guy's there. slaying, huh? I think I he has like God, he's like he's like a God like God Wars items like he has like an ACB and shit. Yeah, like, he, they've got the clans fuck? camping God Wars, man. I wanted to go there to solo like Sarah, but apparently ACBs are just being farms like oh, this yeah. entire week. So there's no going to Sarah. Yo, yeah, Rake, Rakesy, Rakesy. All right, me and Rise, dude. One seasonal, we want to do uh, God Wars and bring in sexy items in the game. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. That's I've always <laughs> wanted to do sick that. Content, right? Want to do it this dude, seasonal? Like, bring, I'll bring just get in. Yeah, like yeah, PGMing? just bring them in. Don't even PK. Fuck it, dude. Just like you talking about it for a seasonal. Yeah, yeah. You can't, dude. There's the you like. Yeah. The clans are gonna be there. I don't even think they have the items unlocked. Yeah, Maybe. God Wars is a okay, dude. It's Barrows. It's unlocked. Did uh, you read oh, the yeah. news? The changes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wait, wait. No, I have. Oh, I just read them. All right, nope. Never mind, Rexy. Right, Not anymore. Okay, no. plans over. I wasn't. I wasn't even. <laughs> I wasn't even confirming <laughs> to do this. So. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> maybe next year, you know, maybe next year. <laughs> I remember uh, a few demo oh modes ago, a guy called, I don't want to say his name wrong, it's EBP90. He used to oh, stream he's a boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you said it wrong, he's coming for you, mate. Dude, Wait. I'm pretty sure he got like an Elliot or Arcane in one of the seasonals. No, but... there was no god shields in seasonals. I think, a spirit. I think they or it might have been Tornade. They did it do Corp, I don't know if they got any. Yeah, I, he posted it. I can't remember. I think it was an Arcane, but they never got a Spirit Shield and the uh, the Blessed Potion. Oh, the okay. Elixir. I thought you made it a fully made one. No, no, no. no. You got Just some the other mm -hmm. Still pretty sick, yeah. though. Imagine if he's a, he's a beast, game. though, at Dead Man mode. Yeah, no, he's like, really it good. It sucks they changed it so much that it like doesn't really fit his playstyle anymore. They're like changing it like League changes seasons in a way. It's you know? always it's changing. Major updates. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of down for it because I feel like one day they're just going to make it to where it really works, but some of these seasonals I, well, are... <laughs> I much prefer the, the direction that, like, okay, I hate to say it, but the way that Fortnite does it, because, like, Dead right, Man... They, it, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. No, no MTX, okay, whatever, fuck that, but Dead Man <laughs> restricts something every season. It's like, you can't do this this season. You can't do this. They've, like, the past couple seasons, they've added some things you can obtain from, like, killing things. But they've never done a season where like they add something cool, like PVP weapons and armor, sure. But then you can't use those for like two weeks. Like seasonals are just dead because yeah, of that. By week two or week one, I mean yeah. you only got those really sweaty people playing. <clears throat> so like, I what's just... the real purpose of the seasonal? Is it just to retain players that are interested in like it's to keep the regular survival? will be active? <laughs> seasonals <laughs> used to be like the the mode for like streaming. Like you would stream seasonals. Oh, right, dude, it's so hard to. But stream. now, oh but now it's so it, nobody wants to watch it. It's so boring. Yeah, yeah. Cause... There, there is a good reason for it because I know why seasonal is how it is because I've spoken to J mods and been in the chat like in in Twitter DMs, oh. and um, the way that the J mods sit is effectively the tournament is for the hardcore players that can play twelve hours plus a day, people that are actually going to compete, and seasonal is more or less just for the average player. 
that can but just play like two or three hours. Playing it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody's no. playing it. The average it, player just it, plays RuneScape. It backfires. The average well, player Green yeah, Dragon, no, man. Like, you're yeah, right. The goal is to get people to play it, but nobody <laughs> wants to play it. Yeah, that's the problem, is because with tournament, very few people PK because it's taken so seriously. And then yeah. with seasonal, the caps are so low that you can't really PK. So mm. it's not really getting advertised to the uh, the common viewer. And it's is... one month instead of three months, too. Whoa. Like, that was the, I think that was a dumb change. <laughs> what happened to our webcams? Sorry, I should have not brought that up. I just <laughs> it's randomly synced. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was good. You're good. Okay. You're good. Yeah. I would, okay. Wait, okay, we'll jump into the skilling content, but I would like. Yeah, yeah we're not even supposed to be talking about yeah, demos. Yeah, it's okay. We weren't planning on talking about it later, <laughs> later on, anyways, but yeah. It's, it's all good. <laughs> kind of snuck up. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that later. Yeah, you can exactly. tell we're warming yeah. up for the hot topic that will come out. We'll just skip in now. Yeah. It'd be nice to see a really easy man seasonal, like easy you know what i mean like fucking roblox easy you know like runes aren't a thing just dude, start us at a higher combat just start people right? at a high combat okay let's dude, see some dude. fights dude let's, let's i mean i hate PvP weapons and armor day three not click, click over the dinner video when there's five people watching and this guy's taking out a dude so in what you're guy, saying like is minutes, is like get, you know? get rid of all <laughs> the little fight, like dude. skilling building stuff and then just get to the point you know yeah, just get to the point. <clears throat> Fuck it. Because no like, one wants you, to see the quest. Fortnite, and I, add I played it for building, a bit. Add building to Deadman mode. <laughs> I want some shitty Britain. Like, man. Yeah, like, like you know how Fortnite games last like twenty one, you know? minutes or something, right? Everyone has to do shitty and tangle. Yeah. There's a huge just, difference. Like though. dork bow Britain. I want to see that. I don't want to see you no know, naked ass blue high getting chopped down by a guy in full mystic and toma fire. That's boring as shit. There's yeah. nothing to aim for too. That's another big issue. There's like nothing to go for. You take three yeah. hours and you have mm -hmm. you have max gear on dead man mode, right? Yeah, but your supplies are fucked. So you go out for like ten minutes and you're done. And you lose kill all your kill stuff. Kill a and you get some bruise, dude. Like what? <laughs> kill a chicken. I wish. <laughs> I never get bruised. Yeah, no. Like see, seasonal is pretty flawed because it's not like Fortnite where every game is in installments of twenty and then everything wipes. Because yeah. like. Cause like in seasonal, it's like an MMO, right? But you're fighting at. The I just I just meant the terms time. of four, I, when I when I made the Fortnite comparison, I was <laughs> yeah. I was talking about every season they change something. Oh okay. Like this season yeah. they have like an airplane or something. Oh yeah, I saw. So you it. don't want to build. That's what I meant. Like they, they yeah. add something cool every season. Where this where Dead Man, it feels like they take away something every season. Guys, yeah. if you're quiet one sec, can you hear yeah. Christmas music from my microphone? I thought I heard it a little bit. Say something. Start talking. Can you hear that in the background? Is there like? A Christmas theme going on? Yeah, I heard it. I hear a little bit, like yeah. a little bit, yeah. Is yeah, there a doggo on the ledge? Dude, alright, now I know what's happening. Every year, once a year, where I live, there's like a little carnival. You know what a carnival is? You have carnivals in America? Yeah, right? oh yeah, like a carnival going on? Yeah, it's like a carnival float with Santa on, and they come and knock on the door and want money. Actually, I'm gonna have to let Spoke out. Want money? It's, <laughs> it's louder now. No. Holy shit, <laughs> holy shit. I actually hear it. <laughs> Give him money, dude! Fuck <laughs> Oh god. Hopefully he doesn't die at Dead Man Tournament, dude. He's gonna oh deal god. with Oh yo, we're keeping this on the podcast. <laughs> dude, the sap is like waving at me, man. <laughs> Calm down, fucker. Wave back, uh, dude. Yeah. I don't think I have any money on me. I don't think I have any coins. Just start Maybe. shucking pennies from the window at every time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could hear Christmas music. Yeah, no, like, you went wrong. Oh. I hear it. I hear it. Okay, just okay. It's not that bad. It's not too bad, dude. We're, we're gonna get copyright strikes for that shit. <laughs> <You're saying? laughs> oh, no. We heard the distorted Santa Claus music. The sabotage. <laughs> Santa Claus has just a beautiful <laughs> copyright claim. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, come on, Santa, don't be like that. It's like, nope. <laughs> dude, that's, that's perfect, man. Yeah. Right to you. That's how sorry, you what... all the Christmas presents, dude. Is he yeah. copyright strikes all the Christmas music? Yep. What were we, uh, what were we talking about again? Sorry, I totally got distracted. How much Yo. Dead Man sucks. Dead Man's right. season sucks. Yeah. Tournament's right. amazing. Tournament is great. Yeah, tournament's you know, getting good. Because it's like uh, uh, an event that lasts, you know, seven days. It's structured, you know. Like really short sprint, really short. And burst. it's a lot. It's a lot easier for a solo player to get to one v one stage now. Yeah. Than it, like they to have to be in a clan. They have to be. There's not. It's yeah. like you can well, just team up with somebody willy nilly, but there's gonna be no one getting. You the say 1v1s that, but there's what is it? Is it two or is it four spots that you can get put to randomly? Where you have to go to in the final hour. It is yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Like you, I think you need okay. a group in the beginning, but then once this starts filtering <clears> down, you know, you you can start your one v ones. Yeah. yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying that it's really not a one v one mode. I mean, the one v ones are sick. You know, you right? know, you got to be fed by your six people can get through though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it makes it fair. It makes it fairer for solo players, but it's still biased yeah. towards like you starting off in a team. 
because it's biased yeah. towards clan. No, it's definitely but easier. It to really get in. is, but it's yeah, easier exactly. as well to get in if you're solo than it yeah, is yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's no way any solo person, maybe one, all right, but no way there's going to be a lot. Yeah, of well, no, like I, most, most, I bet there's going to be like yeah. six, sixty people of the yeah. two fifty six. Yeah, like ah, most nah, serious, they get wiggled yeah. out. Yeah. They're all on team. Get them fucking over there. You're wrong. You're wrong. Because look, the teams go after teams. Yeah. Yeah. Fool, fools wants to take out lit like they go after each other they don't care oh, about some man. solo guy oh yeah they see little stranglers right there click on that guy once Dude, weed, right, weed blazers you know? trying to take out some i don't know some other clan like they're not going after <clears throat> solo players as if you can mix in, yeah that, i mean might be fine, the chances but... are there will be a few complete solo people that probably make it in but most of them are going to be like people and teams Maybe, but i will not say it's easier statistically that shit that's is. just how it is Oof, that's gotta be hard dude yeah it, it'll, it'll be oh hard you gotta be lucky dude you gotta be lucky basically By the way, right you know scroll up to the kebos real quick sorry i just yeah, scroll up? up real quick on that yeah, we're just completely on the wrong topic sorry about that I, I was just about, it looks we got so time. nice yeah, yeah, i was just about to, to say by the way uh something time. i've yeah, noticed is that at all times of the day there's roughly 500 people online in the tournament world how many right now 464 and it's been like that the entire week and i'm guessing that most people have like an alt maybe yeah. two like how do you guys feel about that like people have the time cause... dude i mean anything you can do to get one step ahead of like a 50 60 man clan you gotta do it yeah so, that's true that's true i'm okay with that if you're playing multiple accounts dude and you're solo somehow i you know more power to you man Hope if you, you get multiple dude. accounts in dude that's one less person that can get in that like can beat you exactly that's true, yeah, that's I, true. yeah 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 true <laughs> I mean, yeah, just to add on to add on to what I was saying earlier about the seasonal and tournament and the way that Jagex want it to be. Like, I agree completely with what you guys said with seasonal sucking, but like, I think on paper it makes a lot of sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, the idea of seasonal being for like the average player and tournament being for the people that really want to compete on paper I... that's that seems great. But then when it comes to like how it actually is, it does, it obviously doesn't. none of the streamers or influencers want to play mm -hmm. seasonal because it's just shit boring. I yeah, think I, I mean I'd rather play regular mode. <laughs> I think Deadman should be <laughs> you as hard as hardcore as it can be, so that people want to watch it. And then old school is the casual one, and people play old school. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's just you know? how I mean, the season doesn't really have a real Trying to make people play Deadman mode was the worst mistake ever. Yeah, Four what they could do yeah, is honestly that the season is awful. You know how like seasonal just dies in like how many days? Two days? Three days? They should just make it Four a weekly thing. Usually. People should... will play it because it's fun, not because. Yeah they can be on the same level as other people. They'll play because yeah. it's fun. They see yeah, a streamer like enjoying it, they're going to try it, and they might enjoy it. They see people say it's shit, nobody wants to play it. Like, it's... it's. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly... Forcing it forcing it just makes it not happen. Yeah. Like, so you know what I would could play? just be a seven-day event for, you know, for whatever. I would play if they made it permadeath. Out. You know what I mean? I'm kind of one cool. death, you're dead. You know, and you have to like, like buy a bond or something to play again. Like if you have another account to play again. Nah, I feel like it only lasts for like two days or something. But you yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Magic. Make I it a know, short sprint, you know, fun. activity because right. that sounds like a different mode. <clears throat> yeah, like a seasonal could be like just a week, you know, and you're done afterwards. Ultimate dead yeah. MMO tournament. One day, ten people. At the end of that day, you're fighting, dude. Fuck it, dog bows, <laughs> rune knives. We got ideas, <laughs> man. <laughs> We got yeah, win out of that. Is there like a prize? Is it... Yeah, you get a bond. You get, <laughs> <laughs> you get your social you media plugs. People will do a lot of things for a bond. Yeah, I would do I it. Do, man. That would be okay. That's a great. If somebody take that clickbait idea, man. What would you do for a bond? It's great. It's great. Cool. <laughs> what would you do? Or for what would a people bond? do for a bond? Oh man, that'd be pretty good. Ah, shall we do some crazy things? Yeah. Shall we jump into Kebos, or do you have any more? Uh, data? No, well, I think we can save Kebos. I think we can we can do Kebos later because the, the main thing is gonna be like obviously about Sulu's you know forte in the game, like you know the skilling stuff and the like forte. the pet hunter, right? You know. Is Let, skilling dude, not let, Kebos? Let's yeah. let's get into it because well, I could talk about demo mode like all day. Oh, let's jump right I'm right feeling about to be in the hot seat. Yeah, you are in the hot seat. You've been in the hot oh, seat. No. Just saying. Can so. we make it space bigger? <laughs> <laughs> oh, give it that dude. zoom in real My quick. My face man. is pretty big, dude. Yeah, no, he oh, can zoom in himself. Give it that right? zoom in real quick. Dude. Yeah, he's got the he's got the zoom in capabilities now, so on his own. Oh, there we go. It'll, it'll be, hold on, give it a second. It'll be good. Dude, something I just realized is, it, am I correct in saying that all of us here there have actually go. met Zulu in person? Uh, maybe yeah. I can have yeah. No, yeah, maybe I can have no, it. Right? 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 I only met him once, yeah. dude. Same this fucker once. was sneaking off with J-Mods at karaoke bars and shit and Korean uh, barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke bars? Yeah, he's no gonna invite. Wait, what do you mean uh, the Korean barbecue without uh, you? Were you not there? 
I, I wasn't at the Korean barbecue. Did you see dude. my ass pop out or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, up, I just remember Alf, Alfie had this this sake. He had this entire like it was like this big. He just oh, drank shit. the whole thing. He oh, went wild, dude. man. Oh, dude, God. He is all, he's all He's naturally wild. Alfie is crazy. I feel like Fucking I'm zooming Christ. too much now, dude. He's like, all right, guys, I'm getting everyone. Uh, uh, like he got us like a Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> what are those Red Bull uh, vodka things or whatever? Or the yeah, vodka. Did you, it's a mix. Yeah, but you drop it in or whatever. It's like a oh Jager Jager bomb. bomb. Jager, Jager bomb. bomb. Thank you. Yeah, He's like, I'm yeah. getting everyone a Jager bomb, and then he goes up and he sees like twelve Jager bombs. He looks and he goes, "All right, everyone's paying for their own Jager bomb." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "All right, he did, Alfie." What? A... <laughs> I feel you, man. Yeah, I think we've all met. Wait, have you guys all met each other? Uh, I haven't I met Min. Min too, the person I've met. You met Rice? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I've never been 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 Yeah, when he was drugged up, remember? You know when Rixy was mad drugged up. Oh yeah, yeah dude, boy. I was out there ring fest, man. Dude, Mint is a lumberjack, man. He's so tall. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. I try. I don't know if that's like a thing you thank people. <laughs> it's, just, it's just an observation. <laughs> you can't yeah. really change that. Wait, how tall are you, man? Are you like six three? How the fuck did you know, you creepy bastard? That was directly <laughs> on, man. Like, oh, dude, dude, I've been stalking your Instagram, man. My face oh, yeah. over. <laughs> He can size you up based on the picture, you know? He, like, you know, pairs of five pictures, got, uh... relative heights, you know. Yeah, if Racy just moves that. his can to the left, there's, like, a shrine on me right there. I'm full body. <laughs> man, that cow statue, dude. It's all good, man. I think he's joking, but he turns the camera to say. Yeah, no, and you're like, whoa, I'm, I'm out of here, dude. Can't can't do this no more. <laughs> oh, man, that's just a lo loyal uh, loyal person right there, man. Yeah. I ain't creep that. Oh. Uh... Um, what yeah, are you dude. Look, about skilling wise, I, I have I have scaled your Instagram. What is that? 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 There goes my YouTube. There goes my Twitter. Oh my God. Like, dude, can I see the haircut again? Can I see the haircut? Oh my God. Oh my God. You're a weird kid, man. What the fuck? What yeah, I'm about to report your premium Snapchat, Jesus, dude. Jesus, man. Where did it go? Oh, my God. Yeah, you all laugh, right, but I got one dude, $1,000, the only guy on there, taking all sorts of weird pictures for him, dude. Do you guys, do you guys have <laughs> premium Snapchats? Is that a thing? No, what the is there, no. Is there, is there, <laughs> no. No? I don't think there's a market for that. You don't no. think there's, like, no? I asked I mean, my viewers, what would you expect? Like, like, an official it, system? Or just something you set up no, yourself? No, no, it's like some dirty pics, dude. Like, yeah. I asked my viewers, what would you expect if I got a premium Snapchat, right? Because my Snap, everything's free. And yeah. they're like, some booty hole pictures. I'm like, I can do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, awful, booty dude. hole pictures. <laughs> just, uh, have any of you, oh, have any of you actually seen any, like, uh, e-girls with premium Snapchats? Like, have you seen any pictures? Because I don't actually have a clue I've, what kind of stuff they post. The amount I've of RuneScape streamers, the leaked man. ones. Yeah, I've been I've been linked to some leaked ones before from like some of them. I'm not gonna name names because I don't want to like shame you know, people. You know, my random. Yeah, Bodie's premium's pretty hot. But like, yeah, what? Is, is it like? Are they actually really ranchy, or is it like full it's blood? It's usually just like it's usually like tits ranchy. and ass. A lot of ranch. Much, like you could actually see everything. <laughs> like it'd just be like a titty pic. Like no, no face or anything. Just one titty, dude. Just, it's still usually pretty. Like they usually like cover up a little bit, but like they're like still really like, what's the word? Promiscuous? I don't know. Yeah, like like. Yeah, I mean, um, if, um, you know, it'll be still it, erotic, you know. Whatever. If but, you've got it, then use it, man. I yeah. do it. If I was a fucking attractive grill, I'd be like flashing my ass for like. Yeah. I think the issue the checks. issue was the the tax thing. Some guy got really mad <laughs> that the girl didn't pay her taxes, and then like it blew up on yeah. Twitter. And then and they like. like what? Wait, what? You didn't, you didn't hear yeah. about the Saudi IRS? No. No. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you can, you can. Yeah, no. The IRS. That's a real thing. It's, it's, it's a real thing. Yeah. Wait, is it a Twitter? Account? Yeah. There's like, there's like people. There's like guys out there reporting girls like premium Snapchats because they don't like a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah they, it's, they don't tax it. They try it's not to. It's deserved, man. Yeah. This is how I see it, man. All right, all these lonely dudes playing games, right? All right, I'm gonna consider us slightly lonely, except Rakesy so keeps talking about all his lady. Uh, suck my ass, dude. And you just got these people looking for entertainment and love, but these are the same people who got rejected by that female, that same hot girl at high school or college or at the supermarket, and these people are just making bank off showing one titty and being like, hi. Dude, of the course they should get reported. Yeah, yeah they're not a titty at the supermarket. No? Dude, I'm, a, I'm amazed. Okay. I've seen titties. At a supermarket. Uh, Rick sees like, what is the go wow. No, I'm just, I, I genuinely don't understand the concept. I, I, I'm amazed and very impressed that these girls I are making too. good money from it. But my family... I was too, dude. I'm, I'm trying to find, I've not, okay, I've found so many girls that have a premium Snapchat. I've not found one guy who is subscribed to one of them. Yeah. But I they mean, lie, you know? 
but they like it. Yeah, I don't think any guy is gonna. I don't think any guy is gonna like admit that they're on it. But I'm amazed that they make money through that shit, which I would consider soft porn. When you yeah. can just get you can just get porn for free. People know that it's 2018, almost 2019. But it's to them, it's like more personal or something. Yeah, yeah, know. they get a personalized feeling. You know That's the market. I don't get is when That's people download porn. Why would you ever download porn, dude? Are you like saving it dude, up for like the apocalypse or something? Yeah, like, yeah. The yeah basically. people that do that are old people, man. Like <laughs> old classicals. people. Old, old people, that's it. Like I have a friend, people, apparently. Old people on Twitter are the best, dude. Paranoid people, yeah, old people. They, they, they don't know it's public. So they're always dude, so like, horny on Twitter, dude. Do you watch, <laughs> do you watch PewDiePie? Hilarious. Yeah, I do. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, I got you then. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like, this man's bringing us some pewds topics here. All right. <laughs> Do you guys uh, gotta watch the? Uh, you gotta watch. The, you know who Cody Ko is? Um, no. Or actually. Noel Miller? Oh my God, dude! Those guys—they roast some old people on Twitter a fair amount. It's great. <laughs> That's like I, I love the one where it's like um, <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, they post those little pictures, and it's got like a laugh emoji. And this girl's like, "Yeah, my son just died this morning." And it's just got all these oh, laugh emojis God, on it. Man, I'm like, dude. "Oh, oh my God. God. So hard. they don't know how the internet works, dude." LOL. That's it's terrible. like they think it's like lots of love. But yeah, it's yeah, yeah, going out. yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> That's my my mom posts a picture on Facebook like my son died this morning. It's just just have this shit. dude. Oh, I, my mo- my grandma has the exact same. I remember my uh my brother's wife was telling me about this uh situation a few years ago. Our old dogs died, right? This was like six seven years ago, and uh, my grandma texts her saying, "I'm sorry to hear that Honey and Kipper died." Lol. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my so god. Bad. It's like the Whoa. context of that is fun. But the, you know, if, if she ever says lol, you can say it back and she knows what it means, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. like uh, she, she she like got with the flow of things to that like level when lol means lots of love and then she just stopped caring about the internet yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That is that is good enough for her. Yeah, she tried. Is, she tried. Adorable. At least you know what it, what she meant. Yeah. So Old people in the internet, though. It's it's an amazing combo. Just wait till we get old. Something's clash. gonna happen. So, I guess. Happen. I don't know. I, I think I think our generation's pretty aware of technology and where it can be. That's what we're you like, think. Not, but once you hit a be... certain age, dude, you stop adapting. You like? Are you sure though? Because yeah. like I don't know. Ever since I was young, like I was pretty. I've I've been pretty like wary right. and knowledgeable of like AI and like Did what, we just get a what could happen with like super intelligence. How, how old are you, uh, John? Was how that old are you? Uh, yeah, 24. I was like, did we? Oh, You're 24, yeah. okay. Because I'm I'm 25, and like Damn. I feel like a granddad when it comes to memes. Like it takes me so long. To, I didn't under, okay, I didn't like. Okay, I, well, yeah, jokes jokes are hard to understand, I guess. But like the internet <laughs> itself, like it's yeah, always changing. Yeah, I guess. But this how I see it. We change with it. Picture your grandma or whatever, she's growing up and the TV comes out and she's ecstatic. She's all thinking she's up with her times, dude. And all of a sudden she's 40 and she can't work a microwave. What the fuck happened there, dude? Yeah, what? I mean, technology this changes be, really, we're like, really fast. Dude, I'm loving this YouTube and all of a sudden I'm, we got fucking uh, TikTok. We're like, what the fuck is this? See? It's already happening, okay, man. TikTok I just don't get yet. TikTok I don't exactly. Yeah, me we're neither. Fucked. Yeah, we're yeah, getting yeah. older. All right? I thought it was new generations. Know flossing and shit it's over, it's over. <clears throat> I, i'll tell you something i've recently seen that i really like and i i personally love seeing it i was watching alfie's stream last night and he's like doing so well at the moment because he's doing stuff in dmt that nobody else is doing like killing uh and, yeah. and, stuff. Yeah. and I, i've seen this on other big streamers like tyler one uh gay co- a guy called as asm on gold which is a world of warcraft streamer yeah and uh it'll have people just like talk either be talking to him on discord or donate and they're just mentioned twitch prime and basically sell out for him and then you just see the chat fill with twitch prime subs like i genuinely love seeing that and i feel like yeah. that's being accepted more within the twitch community now and as soon as people hear that they're just like give me twitch prime like twitch I was watching prime it. is become less of a sellout more of a meme which is really yeah. good for streamers so yeah i, I really like it i was watching alfie stream and i was like damn like this is insane that's the best way to do <laughs> stuff is to make it a meme out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like like, like of his shirts. A, good, a great example. I think I think Bodie and Foe, like they both like like kind of brought like um what's the word? Like sponsors to old school. Like they made it like acceptable. And a friend yeah. of it, I guess. Yeah, but bless like, those guys. But like they made they made it kind of like a meme out of it. Like like tornado. There was always the joke when he had when Bodie had the tornado energy thing. He always yeah, like make, the make watches. jokes about they always like the doo doos in the chat and like the Oh yeah, the watches. Yeah. You'd be like, you'd be like, all right, what what time is it? And be like, oh, the, the, Dude, the it, it is crazy to think. It. It's great. It, it took such a long time for ads, and they're still not widely accepted. Like, 
for example, us as YouTubers, if we uploaded a video where we got sponsored to play like a game, if the video was just oh. that, we would be slated for it. Oh, Whereas yeah. like a lot of other communities seem to be a bit more accepting of people oh, like yeah. selling out and stuff. But like, I know that Boaty for like the first year of taking sponsors donated like was it all of the money or like fifty percent to charity or gave it back to streamers or something? Like that's nuts. I think like, what he does or what he did is that he does like a whole charity month where all revenue yeah. from that month and that he makes also goes to charity. And then yeah. what he also does is all sponsor money. I don't know if he does it anymore, but all the sponsor money he used to get would go to like small streamers. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard about it this year, but last year definitely. Yeah, yeah. that was, was back in it. the day. Yeah, back in the yeah. Yeah, few years ago. Probably. I hope. I hope I get to that point now. I'm think, just rocking whole months out for people. <laughs> I think it's difference between selling out and monetizing your content. There's a whole, there's a completely different. Yeah, like, it's a different yeah, selling, culture, selling out and monetizing your content are not the same thing. Monetizing your content so you can be so you can do it full time is. Yeah, it's not like the having same a like donation button compared to running playing an ad a different every game because minutes. somebody's paying yeah. you to play it. It's, it's, it's just a different environment, man. And even then, that's not that bad unless you do it like all the time. Yeah, unless you put like 20 ads in your video, you're like, <laughs> every minute's yeah, like yeah. an ad. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I we guess, I guess that's that. yeah. That's a we good wouldn't point. do that. No, I tested that out for 24 hours. Not worth it. I don't run ads, but oh yeah, I don't, I don't run ads. Yeah, never. Never. yeah no, I've still bad. never ran ads on Twitch ever. I've ran like <laughs> five ads ever, and it's usually well. Okay, there was a t there was a test period for like a month where I ran an ad at the end of my stream, but I realized like I didn't get really much out of that. Yeah, but like, the only times I really have ever ran ads is when I had a ton of viewers on some hype content like Tob Inferno. Um, there's one Dead Man where I had like. 4k viewers at one point jesus christ those are like the only times i've ever ran ads i'm gonna wow, give you uh times. i'm gonna let you do a midnight cow ad every time you yell midnight cow twitch i'll give you five bucks when you got over 500 bit all right <laughs> by the way i have curiosity like how does the uh ads on twitch say if you have like i don't Horrible. know a, a thousand viewers on twitch and you run a three minute ad how does that compare to like an ad in a youtube video like, youtube's the way better good, What's dude, the CPM? Right? is it i don't know the no, cpm on low. I, don't I don't know the cpm on smaller streams i know that i get a fair amount of money just from the ad that runs at the start of my stream. Yeah, it'll, that, tell, it'll like, tell you I, how much... If you look at your revenue tab, it yeah. tells you how much you make. Yeah, how much but of that I know that the big ad. streamers, like somebody like Ninja, right? If he has 80k viewers and he runs that ad button 10 times a stream, dude, he's making a ton of money off that. Like Damn, over, that's over a grand probably at least. Mm -hmm. he's making that's fucking lot. nuts. Because the way that I imagine, play, if you just played one ad at the beginning of your stream, I compare that to a video on YouTube that's not over 10 minutes, so it's just got the one ad at the beginning. And I'd assume it would be about the same amount of money, but... Like, is that right, or would you say it's a lot more, a lot less? Ah, it's hard to say, bro. Honestly, it's I feel hard like to YouTube say. is. Yeah, I don't know the CPM. Better because even on YouTube, YouTube it, it's a bigger, more stable company. But I mean, I don't know. Honestly, even on YouTube, it it varies from channel to channel too. Because like, depending on the, what type That's of ads true. are in your channel, the the yeah. the, the, the amount of. If you say like that higher end, like expensive selling cars, vacations, you might get better CPM. Actually, well. think thinking about it, I think that <laughs> Twitch would be a lot more, and the reason for that is because yeah. They're everybody ads. It, if you're not like subscribed to that that channel, then you definitely get an ad. Whereas on YouTube. They like uh, delegate a certain amount of ads to each category. I remember like reading up about this, yeah. and it, it was saying like if you say if you watch like a video on your phone in a minute, you can see the ad on the phone. It'd be like the little yellow thing in the timeline. Yeah. Sometimes you go past it, and no mm -hmm. ad will play, and that's because there's only so many ads they can have. Yeah. Um. The thing with YouTube is that a lot of people just use ad block. <clears throat> you know. So oh, wow. that's, true. that's also just, true. You just get cucked by that. And like You're Twitch killing they, us. Twitch is like, we don't give a shit. You got ad block, you know? You're, we're gonna make you watch this 40 second video. Oh yeah. Another no. thing is like I believe if you're a sub or if you have Twitch Turbo, if an ad would have played, the broadcaster still gets a payment out of that. Yep. Like mm -hmm. even yeah. if an ad doesn't play, if it would have played, they yeah. still get some something out of that. I'm Dude, pretty sure though yeah, so it's really like, like, it's really hard to argue which one. Like a 10k plus viewer yeah. stream, if they're not running ads, like they're missing out on a lot. Like you can potentially <clears> make more off a 10k viewer stream from running ads than yeah. from subs and and mm -hmm. donations and stuff. Yeah, and then the people understand it's, really it's crazy. like, you know, but I don't think anybody in the rest section will be big enough to run ads really soon. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Or right, interested, interested. Though. interested. Yeah. Except Shall for like we... certain content, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so Can we talk about uh, some cavos, by the way? Or are we going on skilling? No, Sorry. Yeah, we haven't even gotten <laughs> to the skilling part, brother. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, dude. Like, we still got like, time. Yeah, like 50 minutes into a video. Like, yeah, no, we're, 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 only, we're only like <laughs> Pets, 29 dude. minutes in. We're good, we're good. 20, 30 right, minutes. So the, the first topic of this podcast, um, Kevo Slowlands. 
Oh yeah, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you guys want to get into that or because it's just a progress thing? Like I don't think we're just uh, telling right. Oh right, look, right, I'm, step, man. I'm I'm totally unprepared for this. I've been playing yeah. in my mood. You yeah, no, I, ahead, I think I think we should start. we should talk a more about Zulu. Zulu. With some, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, Zulu oh, stuff, God, yeah. I was is... hoping you'd forget. Yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna put you in the hotter seat because you know. All right, Zulu. Why do you like cats? Dude, cats are cool, man. That specific cat, dude, is is so HD. You not seen that cat? Let me get you I a like, picture. I like that's the reason. <laughs> okay, send me a picture, bro. What, but okay, ever since I was young, I've, I've owned cats and dogs. We've had we've had all kinds of pets. Elephants. Your oh, favorite breed? Elephant. We had a, we had a <laughs> duck for a little bit of time. Oh, I've always oh, wanted wow. a duck. They're little. They like pounce and shit. Dude, ducks are so okay. cool. Anyway, I, but yeah, no, I, I just like I just like animals in general. Yeah. Right. I'll start this out. So Zulu, when did you first start playing RuneScape? When did you get into it? Um, uh, 2005. 2005. Oh, and what, what have you been? Would you say? Have you like, have you changed over the years into something oh, absolutely. else? Absolutely. When I was what younger, you I was a as? total noob. I used to run law runes for people. Look at that picture. I gotta see this man. Oh, this, this thing cat. is so HD. You zoom in on that thing. Oh my god. Oh, but yeah, wait, no, that's actually your cat. No, it's not my cat. But look at oh, that. Okay. Yeah, I, it's I, really I own HD the rights. Cat. I have the rights to it though. I don't own the rights, but I have the. the rights you you to know it. the the person that owns it. Yeah. That thing is so HD. Yeah, I emailed them and asked them. Oh, that's cool. For permission. I asked if I could buy the rights to it, but they said no. Yeah, Anyways, that's a nice cat. Can I, I adopt started it? out <laughs> as a complete total noob. I played because of my middle school <laughs> friends playing, or my like, yeah, middle school friends playing. What's and, the newbiest thing you did when you first started? By the way, um, newbiest thing I did. I mean, yeah, I'll give you an example if you want. I didn't know Barack was a city till like a month in, so I was just walking <laughs> around Lumbridge. The first, the first day, I remember the first day I played. I went to, um, you know how like East Varrock, like North of East Varrock was like a hot PK spot back in the yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just good stuff. kept going back there and just hitting people <laughs> and dying naked. I was like, I was like naked, like straight up. I was just, I just, just straight dying. up punching them. But it was so fun to just like go up there and be in a fight. Like, dude, Zulu started out as a PK, or man. He didn't start out no PK. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 another song. I do remember ball. another, yeah. hold on, another, yeah. another newbie thing I did is I went up to Varrock, south of Varrock. Mined copper and tin, walked to Lumbridge. Oh my god! Oh my like, god! Like uh, I, I would make the bronze bars in the furnace, and then I'd walk up to Verhawk and smith it at the anvil. Holy <laughs> shit! That's actually that's good. like an autumn elegy <laughs> F2P. Yeah. Dude, yeah one, one more right softball there. question. One more softball question. Okay, <laughs> what was the most memorable time you got scammed? Because you definitely got scammed back in the day. Most memorable time I got scammed yeah. was. Memorable time. I I got oh, lured. Well, I guess well, I guess I got I got scammed for like a. Uh, I gave somebody like a black cavalier, which was like really oh, expensive okay. at the time for like oh, a yeah. an obsidian K plus cape, one. an obsidian yeah. cape, and a black beret. I thought it was a good no black cav back then was like one mil or something. Oh yeah, 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 it, yeah was. it was one mil. Yeah, I remember uh, looting yeah. some dude's dead body for one mil. Yeah, but I got right. I got I basically like lost like. 600k or something off that, oh, but I that's... thought it was cool because I wanted the cape. I really wanted the obby cape. I didn't oh, know what it was. Yeah. I was dumb. But <laughs> I fought for, for all the all the typical scams: the the big bone and dragon bone, the uh, 1191, 1911. Oh yeah, yeah. All, all those all those mm -hmm. old scams back in the day. Yeah, that's I remember one. I used to do a thing with with a friend of mine where uh, one of my school friends. Where I'd be on one side of the the room and I'd be like selling Zami Fullhelm oh, no. 400k, oh, no. and my this friend would shit. be like buy, buying Zami Fullhelm 700k, but it's really worth like it's worth like not it's worth like 250k. Or something. All right, I'm gonna have to so report you to Jagex for now. I remember getting scammed for that, man. It was like <laughs> Enviral Quest. Zulu brought this into the game, dude. As soon as you buy it, the guy the guy buying is gone. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it was like it, it would be like buying something for one mil. The other dude at the other end of the bank would be like bank sale, and he had the item. And I remember even saying to him, I was like, "There's a guy oh, at the other side of the mil. bank who wants to buy it for a mil." And then I was so he he just played stupid, so I bought it, and then I was like. Where'd his friend go? Where is he? <laughs> the first three times oh I saw that, God. I went to grab my cash. Skype. They're like, like, we got it. We got and I couldn't afford it. So it didn't even matter. Yeah. Oh, dude. But that, that that's what gives Rune's get character, man. Like, I mean, fuck it, 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 it teaches right? you so to great. to not be oblivious to things in your, you know, in your environment. Yep. Yeah. So. Oh man, I fucking miss those days, dude. All right. One one thing about scamming, man. I remember I was at the Duel Arena with my friend. I, I don't know what we were doing there, right? But we were trying to make some money on a shitty level 70 account or something with like 50 defense 
And this guy wants to trade us for his adamant G plate body for the G mall. And my friend takes over the trade screen and just dips the G mall out of the inventory and fucking scams the Eddie G plate. I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, oh my god. And he's like, dude, I got it, I got it. We logged out. We were freaking out. Uh, the remove the guy's item like, Can thing. I have oh, man. <laughs> Damn. I never. I don't think I ever fell for that. Like the remove item uh, scam, where like you like remove it really quickly and like double accept. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I did. I, I, I fell. <laughs> Dude, I fell for it. Dude. I remember I bought a Torax. I was a noob, right? Uh -huh. And I, I caught a thousand sharks and I was like, I'm rich. I want to buy a barrow piece. First time having a meal. I bought a Torax helm for like back then, maybe four or five hundred K at Falador. And Dude, then rich. I tell you to, uh, uh, to, to Sears Village. And I was trying to sell it because I wanted the money to actually buy something I could use. I didn't even have 70 defense. And some mm -hmm. dude was like, I'll buy it for 800 K. Put it up. You took the coins away. The <laughs> oh, we went. No. We went through. We went through that trade screen like three or four times. I knew he was scamming me, and then I just really wanted to get rid of and it. And I remember I just yeah. I clicked accept, and I had nothing in my inventory. And I was so I was a little kid, man. I walked my ass oh, to the fucking no. fishing guild, and I spent the entire weekend <laughs> there catching sharks and se oh, like no. seventy seven fishing. Like that's the worst money in fucking game. Yeah, I did that too, bro. That's I did the fishing of sharks, man. I I. <laughs> When I was young, I remember fishing lobsters at some point. Yeah. But I also remember um, making bowstring. But back then, it was like, it wasn't that it bad. Was it was actually good. Like, bowstring yeah, no, was actually good. Money. I got like so many crafts were... But maybe they... we just thought it was good money. Yeah. Well, they, they were, were two. Good. I think they were 200 GP each of our members. And flash, oh, they were flash, flash, like 80 or 90, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's on own, you can make yeah, 100 you GP. Yeah, you can make 100 GP profit. At least I kind of miss the days where flax cost money. Now it's yeah. Well, you could take Nightmare Zone and Zora and all the other shit. That yeah, they do. <laughs> it kind of annoys me. I, yeah, yeah. I'd be yeah. down with like a flax reset. You know and what I mean? It's like too. yeah, yeah. It's gonna it's be one GP days, soon, man. if not. Okay. Oh, okay. I, who here's yeah. mind pure essence? I've done it, but, but I've never. I, I, Sold. I don't like to myself. admit it, but I might have uh, for myself. Dude, that used, used to, that used to be good money it was, back. It was in hundred GP, I think, right? But yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, for a while. For like a while, it was hundred GP. I did so it if you like, like a month. Ten K, you got hundred K cash, which was yeah, fucking yeah. Yeah, banging back insane. then. It was really good. Yeah. Oh man, Stop, you're making me nostalgic, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dude, times, dude. Like honestly, we. We don't even need to it. talk oh, about the sorry. We don't need to talk about the topics, man. If we're just talking yeah, about, yeah, we're just going with the flow. flow. <laughs> yeah, we go. With we the can flow. do. Yeah. We can do that stuff like for the next podcast. Zulu's too good of a uh, guest to talk about topics, man. We're having. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> we're, we're just on a nostalgic trip. Really yeah, but I, like I, I, uh, I thought that you could mine Dragonstone in Shiloh because I saw those gem rocks. <laughs> so oh. I had this. I had this scheme when I was like really young, and I was I was gonna go ahead and I was gonna spend the entire summer mining Dragonstone. Making glories, and I was gonna be the biggest, the richest player in the game because I was gonna have all these glories. <laughs> I do Shiloh Village, I mine a gemstone, and I'm and like, I, I can't get a dragonstone. I just, I just <laughs> like, cry. I, just, I was like, I, was just, I didn't cry, but I was like, I was like really upset that like you couldn't mine dragonstone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's a disappointment, crazy, but it was like and that was like part of the mystery though, man. It was yeah, like no, there's like no true, true. nobody's making like these guides and these videos back back, back then. Yeah. Right, yeah. like there's so yeah. much you didn't know. I remember when I first social found media Greenor. is a curse. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Oh no, no, go for it, man. You're I was gonna say social you. media is a curse and a blessing. It's like it is. We cause... know so much about the game. Yeah, but it takes away from the mystery. Yeah, I've yeah. Two yeah. goddamn that's why, great guys. That's why I don't want to know drop game. rates of certain things, because you just want to like always be guessing. You know, yeah. that, that's a good way of seeing it. Yeah, I've never thought of it like that. It's quite interesting, and that's another reason, like. Yeah, you know when all these free-to-play players start playing from RuneScape Mobile? Like, giving them just pure cash, in my opinion, or just giving them, like, loads of money slash items kind of takes away from the fun of it for them. Like, I know that when I first started playing, I, if if someone just came up to me and gave me, like, full rune, it would have just been, like, a massive bit of progression that was taken away from me. Yeah, no, I would I give mean, them, like, 200 GP. Full rune, 200k. <laughs> oh, man. That's See, not so much, uh, dude. Yeah. Back in the day. This is a good question for the comments, man. Do you think giving new players GP runes it for them? Because I think it's part of the RuneScape experience. If you find that nice person in game that wants to help you out, that's kind of part of the MMORG online experience. You know? All right, so I, I, would, friend there, I would but. argue that to an extent, giving a way to giving something to new player is like a part of a memorable moment that won't take right. away too much from them. If you if you don't give them too much, if you give them like you know, I mean, like I feel like a, a new player, what depending on the level, but 
on, I don't everyone, know. If you give them less than 10k, 10k or less is pretty. Everyone solid, bitches yeah. when you like try to give a new. Oh, you're ruining their experience. Like, did uh, were you like such an ass that on RuneScape? No one ever gave you like a rune axe or something. You know, God damn it, Zoom. <laughs> fucking sorry, right. I, 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 I fucking <laughs> try to tell a <laughs> story and I look over. It's out of, it's out of focus, <laughs> fucking, man. Sorry, I was trying to make it focus. Giant yeah. boy over here. I thought that was like story. an intentional meme or something. No, <laughs> We got for a thumbnail. We got to get that zoom in face. Yeah, man. the serious um, zoomed in face. But yeah, dude, like nice people. Like for for some reason, people keep saying RuneScape's toxic. It's a bad community. It's like no, dude, it's full of nice people. Or me, Zulu, Rakesy, we wouldn't be streaming or anything. You know, Rice Cup. Um, no, I'm a bad nice person. Man. I'm there. a bad person. Um, yeah, <laughs> they give out GP and want to help. It's just the most toxic people are the loudest, right? So why RuneScape is a part of like if you get something, it's not ruining their experience. It's actually enhancing it. You know, you ever play a game and you get shit from somebody randomly? No, dude, the RuneScape experience, baby. Here's a RuneScape. Go have yeah. some fun. Yeah, well, it's it's totally different now as well compared to back in the day. Because again, like I said, back in the day, it was like everything was kind of in the dark. Like there was forums where people knew things. And people talked about like how the best things happen. And yeah, how dude, to, how I, to I used to use RuneScape but forums, bro. <laughs> new players wouldn't know about that stuff. But nowadays, yeah. people who play old school, like anybody who plays any game, they're going to look up a YouTube video on it. Yeah, pretty much. They Google and then it usually leads to a YouTube video. Right. You know, so Google here's a question YouTube. for you guys. You guys have a lot of knowledge. So at the end of one of my videos, like a couple of weeks ago, I decided to give away some money to free to play players, right? But instead of giving. Instead of giving them money, I bought, I think I took like 10 bonds and I used them on players that I could see that had made like a decent amount of progress. So they weren't fresh level freeze. Okay. Um, and obviously I, I didn't really think about it too much, but then afterwards I realized that they just get the bond and then they can redeem it to get membership. But can they sell that bond like straight off the yeah. bat? Yeah, they, they, have to have they enough, can. They have to have can they really? If you can no, convert can. it to tradable. Yeah, they uh, have the money. They have to have that, like 400k or something. Yeah. All right, that, that, that's fine in that case. I just yeah. didn't want people getting it, selling it, and selling it. It's like a gold. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could like explicitly say, you know, have fun with membership. You know, I'm going to buy myself a Dorito. Because then it would like, trigger boy. the thought process. That they okay, that, I'm, I'm really glad to know that you have to have like 300k. Yeah, because it's 10% of GE value to make it tradable. Yeah, all right, that's so, awesome. Yeah. That's sick. All right, do you want to go to the hard-hitting <laughs> question? Or, uh, or are we we're down for, like, the nostalgic questions? <laughs> All right, Zulu, hard-hitting man, ass or tits? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm more of an ass man, but you can't, there we go. You can't hate a, you can't hate some good tits. Yeah, yeah. when you brought uh, up Fortnite, I was like, like, I don't know, but now I'm with you. Yeah, we're going to get demonetized, bro. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's over. It's yeah, yeah, sorry. I, okay. I, I'll join you on that, man. I think an ass is mandatory. Tits are just a bonus to me. It's just like whatever. What they, got, they, got, yeah. <laughs> they got them. They got them. Yeah. They got them. They got them. What's your wife? There are some nice. There are some nice tits though. They're like you can't. Hate <laughs> yeah, them. They're, oh, of course. They're, yeah. Great, they're great fun, but I choose a nice ass over nice tits like, any day. I feel like you can't work out some nice tits though, but you can definitely work out a nice ass. Yeah. So yeah. definitely, it shows a lot of progress. times like with an ass. Yeah, exactly. And I like the they, they, kind of, they kind of care a little bit about. <laughs> I heard that the reason why a lot of like people like ass instead of the tatas is because when we were developing you know that caveman shit that's uh -huh. the first thing we would see when we're crawling behind a woman is booty so that's <laughs> what, i don't think it's true but <laughs> if you well, want that dude, there, there's loads of stuff with that like uh with tits oh, for example <laughs> with, with uh tits we're not it, it's strange that we're attracted to them because in reality the only thing the only thing they're used for is breastfeeding so it really shouldn't be like you shouldn't really be attracted to them although they are a great like that's your carnal it's instincts. Only, it's not the only thing they're used for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if, what, what I mean, if like, fatter people are more attuned to breasts because they're hungry? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're hungry. I don't yeah. know. Well, I mean, it all ties... Metaphorically speaking, they're hungry. It, it all ties <laughs> into, like, fetishes and stuff. Because, like, with fetishes, apparently you develop them, like, when you're really young. So it all depends how fucked your childhood it, you know. was, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for boobs. <laughs> you know. I like the toes, you know? Like, oh, is that true? Oh, God. That's you true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, if you have a child, man, don't raise them freaky. So do you get turned on clipping something your nails or some shit? Them. Or like, nah, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just, I don't <laughs> like, like toes do personally, dude. Like? I like the booty cheeks. Wait, what was that, Zulu? Say that again? Is that like, is that like a Freudian thing or something? Like, where we like uh, develop our fetishes when we're young? Or well, I think we develop yeah, no, no, everything when we're young. So, I, I, so. I think you can develop fetishes as you go, but like uh, your big fetishes, like in your mind, whether you've uh, accepted it or not, whatever really truly turns you on, like that all comes from something. It stems from when you were young. 
something that happened when you were young, or maybe something that you don't even realize happened, just like a, a yeah, passive thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was fed watermelon juice as a child, now I'm sexually attracted to watermelons, so... Oh, God. Yeah. We're not okay, getting it, no. well. Damn, we can't be hanging out with watermelons, man. Back for... for Christmas. <laughs> Woo! Make oh, sure no. there's a hole. All right, no, no. Um, <laughs> all right, so, anyways. Right, did you actually have an actual question there? Yeah, yeah, Sorry. yeah. Okay, okay. Let's, okay. let's, well, let's, that, yeah, we finally that? warmed up. 40 minutes in, we finally we warmed up for the Warm real, the real hard-hitting <laughs> question. Uh, okay, okay. For, no, no jokes this time, you know? No jokes this time. Okay. Serious question. Yeah, serious <laughs> question. All right. I, I guess we only have time for two, to be honest. But forget about the pet hunting stuff. But let's get let's get on to the. Hey, scaling. no need to rush yeah, this. Let's no get on to the rush, scaling. Man. Did anybody get a rush? Yeah, there, there's no rush, man. It's all okay, good. Okay, okay. All, all right, so we got we got you know the the scaling community huge, right? It, different v fractions in a sense. Are we right? talking about hexes or no, anything? Any any scaling. community? I'm just saying any community okay. that kind of defines themselves as like passionate for scaling. But obviously, so yeah. you're at the heart and you do everything possible, the best of the best. If you want to go for the ranks, right? So you've been going for ranks for a while, right? In in all the uh, high scores, but you've been I have you been lax recently, Tom? I wouldn't say I like go for ranks. Like I I like yeah. I have my own goals. Yeah, and it puts me in a certain rank. But yeah, Lee said earlier that I was like top twenty, but that's just an XP. Like if you look at the actual yeah, yeah, yeah. time spent mm -hmm. skilling, I'm like seventy or something like that. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, because like there's, there's some slow. But skills, yeah, skilling right? community is a lot bigger now than it used to be. Yeah. But you're ranked yeah. 20 in RuneScape. Did you just say that? Did I hear that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know that? You're rank 18, and no, I, I have No, I said top 20. Numbers. I wasn't sure exactly what number, but um, I have... Holy shit, you got yeah, loads that's of just, 99s. That's just an XP, though. Yeah, he's back. Oh, <laughs> Look at that flex, bro. Look at that. Any 200 no, mils? No, that's huh? dude, that's 200 good. mils, sorry. You got loads of 200 mils. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's... We're, we're, we're like, we're talking with effectively Zazima from back in, like, 2007. Yo, Zazima was only 99, bro. He wasn't even 200 mils, bro. He plays Rocket League now. Do you know that? Zazima? Yeah. Number one Rocket League. He never streams with voice cam, though. Or voice what a waste cam, of though. talent, dude. Yeah. He's, always. He's been in... Dude, I've been graced with Zazima being in the same Discord, like, channel as me yeah dude That's yo awesome, yo he next yo, guest no lie last week <laughs> dude no okay lopsided real quick last week one of the streamers that i kind of got to know recently um like I saw Sesame in that stream. I guess he goes to a lot of girl streamers. I don't know, but that's just my <laughs> that's just my yeah, guess. I Dude, I but... bet you he's got some premium Snapchats. Yeah, because I, so, you know, I was just talking, you know, and, and all of a sudden I, I see Sesame typing in, in the in the chat. I was like, what? Uh, what the hell? Why is he here? Yeah, that's so funny. That's crazy, so man. Fuck. Yeah, he even said hi and stuff like, yo. I got the that sense how to notice speed. Let's Dude, go. that was something I loved with the uh, the mobile players coming in. I saw a lot of them. A lot of them were still talking about Zezima. Yeah. Like in oh, 2018, yeah. like I saw a few people typing that, which is fucking amazing to you see. Can't, you can't let his name die, dude. Yeah, no, Zezima. Hey, man, we're not Runescapers. We're just a bunch of Zezima fangirls, man. Yeah, what he, the he, was, Zezima, he was dude? the face of Zizma? OG Runescape, no? you know, back in his prime. Yeah. So. Yeah, he was a huge figure and still is. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Even <laughs> I knew about him. I didn't even know what YouTube was back in the day. Fucking, I don't even know how I found yeah, him. Yeah, I was a scrub fishing sharks and I still knew who Zezima was, so. Yep. It's, it's now, Zulu, um, since now you play for competitive rank and stuff like that and just kind of your own goals, I, that, I did it ever? Okay, oh, well, I'm, yeah, you don't, but like your you're, you're unintentionally yeah. in that environment. So like, yeah. well, you, obviously people probably ask you a lot. It's like, so, so like, how do you plan to overtake these other guys? But you, oh, you, you surely, you know a lot about those people, you know, no, around, I was wondering, around has you. your in the, play in the style schools? when you first started old school again? changed right or oh, did you absolutely. always have this goal where you wanted to max no i did not at the start of old school i wanted to just um enjoy the game the, i was just in the nostalgia for a while right. same same first year um, nostalgia and then oh. i wanted to get a quest cape i was like the third person in game to get a quest cape you couldn't, actually get it when, you couldn't get it at the release because death of dorgishan was like not you weren't able to do it i didn't know that yeah, yeah. Like, like, they, had to, like, they had to like patch that yeah <laughs> and then once you could get it i think it was first wombat and then one other guy, and then myself, we all got a quest cape, like, yeah. right around that time. And then I wanted 85 Slayer. Like, I, I had small but, like, relatively big goals back then for, like, the time it took. It's like, 85 Slayer, and then I joined a clan called Slay Stars. Oh, yeah, what's this clan? I yeah, wanted, for... yeah, yeah. And then I wanted, um, like, top page one time, just because I had a lot of skilling stats already. Mm -hmm. So I got it one time, 
and it's a fucking curse, man. Yeah, <laughs> you're just, yeah, like, you got addicted to that shit. Here I, you know, <laughs> five years later. Um, but yeah, I won a 2K total, 99 Slayer. I got that, and then God Wars came out for old school. And I didn't decide wait, to max until like the end of 2013 is when I decided I wanted to max. You got 2013. Damn, wait, you got two thousand. Did you get 2,000 total before God Wars came out in 07? God, yeah. yeah, five yeah. years ago, bro. What? Yeah, dude, I, I only, got, I, dude, I got 2,000 total like a month or two ago. Like, first day yeah, I yeah, escape, well, I'm out there know, trying to get farming up, raking weeds, dude. Like, wait, 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 Yeah, you made it clear that you hate skilling stuff. I remember the first, you know, few podcasts. <laughs> no, it, like, all right, you know nothing about attorney. skilling. You, yeah, you're so, right. <laughs> right, let me just, I, I can completely explain to you what, what happened with like my, um, what's the word, my... Uh, my my process through the game and how it changes as a player. So like I said about Kill scammers things. and stuff to begin with, we all got affected by scammers, right? <laughs> and I loved it. The way that I saw it was this dog eat dog, right? <laughs> if you're if you're smarter if you're smarter than somebody, you can scam them for their items. Like if you're better. Yeah, if you're better than somebody, you can kill them for their items, right? So I love that. That's what got me into like the toxic PvP side of everything. Like it just it appealed to my younger self, you know. Does it uh, still appeal to you? <laughs> as I've like, I, I don't know what the word is. What's it called? Like trans transformed as a player. Transcend. Like, yeah, trans as I transcended <laughs> as a player, I realized that. I didn't want to be around that anymore. Like the PVP community was toxic as fuck. That's why I stopped doing PVP. And I started enjoying stuff like Slayer. And then from Slayer, right. I got into PVM. Breaks, are you toxic as fuck? Your scammers are the way. <laughs> Top dog. Fuck world, everybody. Man, the dude, I boy. fuck. For yeah, I, I love the people, people in the Lumbridge pin, dude. Fucking. There was a lot of people that used to just scam back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I tried to scam, but I, mean, I was I never like good I said, at it. I even, did, I even did that thing with the, the bank thing where you like you sell high or you're like, like you're selling and then you have a friendly side buying. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, I think I, we've, we've all done that. I've never yeah. scammed. I, I'm clean, boys. The, I'm, I'm the only the scam, scam I've ever very done. Nice. Uh -huh. The only scam I ever did was no, where like you, never buy, <laughs> you buy someone's full rune set for like 200k and then you take out 180k and quickly accept. That's like the only thing I've done. Yeah, yeah. 20, 200K. I, I think do I that. maybe got like a handful of people doing that, but that was like a handful. Extent. That's at least a hand. handful of tears. That's like dude. five people for one hand. <laughs> Wet bro. keyboards, Rakesy. That's what oh, you caused. But like, so Zulu, back on um pre EOC, like, what was your account like there? Like, were you a max it player? Was, no, it was pretty trash. It was probably <laughs> like a probably like around two K total ish, maybe, maybe. Like, oh, that's like maybe. me, yeah. That's, that's and then I I, yeah. I like did a little bit of PVM, but I was mainly in like this. Uh, I was you guys, you guys know like how there was like a lot of friendly friend chats back in the day. Like there was there was a lot bigger because there was a friend chat and clan chat. Yeah, around yeah, the time like both, Citadel came both, out and yeah, all that. Both. Um, I was in this like CC where we did like the uh, D and Ds together. So like the uh, the stars, like uh, shooting stars. Oh, I didn't yeah, play yeah, much. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I, only I, played, I only played a few hours in, in a day, maybe. Like if I was playing if I was playing that day, but even then I wouldn't play every day. Yeah. And I'd log in. We'd find like a size eight rock. I'd be like the first person mining to get there. Mining for like twenty minutes. I'd be, minutes. <laughs> I could, dude. I'd be mining that thing forever. Get all that mining XP. But I was, and I was kind of a noob, man. I was, I did a little bit of PVM. But I was pretty bad at it. I I liked DG, but I was never good at it. But no, man, I just I, uh... so, yeah yeah. So were you, you were always like into skill, and then you you were never into like I liked I liked PVP, but I was also not good at that either. Okay. But, yeah, enough? skilling, skilling, and PVM. Yeah, it, it, it's man. when old school screen, started, bro. and you Eat started. It. Yeah, go ahead. What are you saying? Nah, I'm gonna teach him how to PVP, dude. Fuck rank, man. It's yeah. it's time to slap some ass. Dude, right, let's dude? do it. Let's let's make let's... it. Let's get the PVP squad going. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Four Just hit me squad. up, man. I'll pop on the stream. <laughs> we'll take enough, you man. out to some make revs or something, dude. I'm, dude, I'm for this. I already told Rice. I'm gonna Yeah, no, PvP. he's down to take anybody, bro. For, I think you know what I think. Not just anybody. Just my closest. I say this all the time. Yeah. I say it all the time, but I think the old school community lacks collaboration. Like there's some, but not nearly as much as other games. You see, you, you watch you watch uh, any any big shooter game right now. There's a streamer playing with another streamer. There's Shroud playing with Tim the Tapman. There's there's I uh, miss duo there's streams. TSM, T, all the TSM guys playing together. Yeah. There's Ninja playing with Doctor Lupo, and it's like always always collaborating. Yeah, there's not enough collaboration in old school. I'm to trying to collab yeah, with people. Yeah. I keep getting silent zoned. Like I'll ask people and they won't respond. So I haven't done a collab. I think in like I think I, I do the same thing. I I told Mammal months ago. I said, Hey man, let's do some TOB together. And then he's like, Yeah, sure. I'm totally down. Just let me know. And I, the shit person I am, I never I never like hit him up again. I I do that. <laughs> there needs to be more collaboration. 
People love that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I think some, some yeah. of my favorite streams I can ever remember are collaboration streams. Think of the uh, the AOAA drunk streams. Think of the Alicia Foe Bodie streams. Oh, I used to Gilsex, watch that. Yeah. Yeah. The recent the recent, that. the recent Ron plays games, Skidler, um, Eviescape, and Perp streams. Like those. Yeah, they're killing. Those it, are like man. the best content. Like that's the best content on Twitch and YouTube is the collaborations. Yeah, Even yeah. Because like podcast, I mean, it's like hard podcast, to do. This so this is collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, I, I've though. always wanted Absolutely. to collaborate on YouTube, you know. So this, like, I thought the yeah. podcast was a great way to kind of meet. I liked up with the, uh, that, I like so. that gauntlet thing that um, Ian framed and it? framed and souped and all them did. Yeah, and yeah, that was sick. I want to be invited to more of that though. Like, I'm fucking feeling super lonely in the RuneScape community, content wise, man. I'm just yeah, looking for like, like, man, I'm that, never man. part of anything, you know. Dude, Dude I'm man. not. This is the this only is... thing I'm a part of, and I made it. I need, it, so like... I need to do ten hours of Revenant PKN, dude. Mint, I'll hit you up for that, man. We can do some Russian and shit. I would but, like, be honored. I, really I think um a big part of what like the reason for that, Zulu, is like RuneScape. Can be played well. Primarily, it's played as a solo game because M you Iron Man, M -M yeah. hence Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, like, M -M yeah. yeah. Everybody has. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has their own accounts. It's like only you can train your account up, etc. There's certain yeah. activities like raids and PvP, which are like pretty much. I I'd say the only place you can really get a collab going. There should be more group content. Yeah. 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 And where yeah. whereas like if you compare that to Fortnite and like League of Legends, those games are made. For yeah. not, it's not solo. Do you know what I mean? So the nature yeah. of those games is yeah. quite different. To I mean, you can game. you can play solos. Though. You can play solo Fortnite. And yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Zulu, do you love Fortnite, man? Do you no, want to play I, some I, Fortnite? I just, it's, it's, there's a reason that, a reason that game is so popular. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Let's yeah. get some squads, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so back to like the whole skilling. <laughs> whoa, oh dude! God. Oh, whoa, the voice crack, dude! Oh, oh, man. Man. Can we yeah. just take that first that's and just a, put that on the video? You take a shot. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. My my throat died after I did a 24 hour stream like last week, so it's still recovering, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. So, what? so do you feel you pressured saying? though? For like now, you know, you're still rank 18, right? So, so that means I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I'm still top page. I shouldn't yeah. be, dude. For the time yeah. that like the time people spend skilling, a lot of them should have passed me, but they just don't. They do like the the gathering skills, so like they will oh, eventually they pass me. Oh, okay. They're going for the slower ones first, but like you, yeah. Do you do you feel like you know the tug of war between just kind of going with the. F your flow oh, versus going absolutely. with a competitive flow. I think I know what you're talking about. Like, I feel yeah. like I, I, you call it a tug of war. I call it a, like a fork in the road. I feel like a crossroads. Yeah. Uh -huh, I crossroads, always have the, yeah. that in my head. It's like, I want to be a stinky gamer. And I want to play 18 hours a day and not focus on anything at all. Not even like YouTube or Twitch. But then the other side of me wants to like, you know, I love streaming. I love making videos. and I want to keep doing that. Yeah. So I also want to like, I can't just stream 18 hours of, of try hard skilling every day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I mean, maybe unless you're Link's Titan, but like, I don't know. Yeah, don't but I'm not Link's Titan. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, you're only a bill and a half XP away, man. You can get that. Yeah, yeah, the other one bill and a half is like I'm the like, super slow I'm like ones, right? K I'm like, yeah, but I'm like 9k hours away. Yeah. Yeah, because so there's some skills are really slow, Rexy. So, like, you know, Zulu done all the f faster ones. Faster XP. You know, I'm not, I, you don't need a spoon feed me, man. I, yeah. I do, I understand, like, how the skills yeah, yeah, yeah. work and stuff. I, I'm a lot just of not people shit on me, though, for, uh, yeah, for not more. skilling as much. <laughs> It's yeah. weird. You can't really please anybody, which is why you again you have to go for your own your own goals. Yeah, and your own you gotta career. realize you know ultimately like, it's you. Yeah. I can't please anybody, dude. I, I start skilling and people are like, "Where's the PVM content?" I start PVMing again. They're like, "Why'd you stop skilling?" I didn't stop skilling. It's just like I'm PVMing today, dude. Yeah, Maybe it's alone, like, you know, yeah. it's like. Uh, it's so hard. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's it is hard to balance both of those. So, it always confuses yeah. me when like a viewer wants certain content like they just wake up like i want to yeah. see someone fucking fletching all right and if you don't show me that <laughs> shit yeah now there's some some happened. people are really like, you what know the fuck, they're, dude? they're very uh demanding you know it's not like obviously it's like that's them whatever but anyways it, so so you said eventually the, the other people that are doing the slower skills will pass you so so how's yeah. it how's how's the outlook going to be for you uh, like, oh. uh, like if you eventually fade off to like say second page. Right, you're so you trying to sneak in there or what? I've been, <laughs> I've been no, top no, page. I'm not doing <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been top page longer than anybody. Um, I don't. When I lose top page, it won't be a big deal. Yeah, you, you, you're saying like you, you know, you've had your fill in that, yeah, in that moment, right? I don't, I don't feel like I need to prove anything or uh, prove myself. I, I have my own goals. Like you proved yourself is always like you know. 
you're, oh. you're, for your own yeah, sake, you've done it. Skilling wise, you've done it. So yeah, I mean, I still have skill and goals. It's just it's not yeah. for the purpose of pleasing anybody. Yeah, not the purpose of the high scores either. You you only play one account though, right, Zulu? Um, I have a hardcore. But I do don't, you? Uh, I was yeah, wondering. I, I was like, has anyone tried to get you to play more of that? I haven't really shown it much yet, though. Uh huh. Are you, you, you waiting oh, for a certain working, point? Is it a, uh, for a certain is stage? It sneaky content? Did we just yeah. sneaky it out? Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Wait, waiting on it. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm Max, by the Spoilers, way. Spoilers, man. Let's get started. I look forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I think it's shit. inevitable. I can't. I can't. Like, I can't have both. Yeah. I can't have. A top, be a content a top creator rank. in and, top rank. Yeah. yeah, it's it just it's not. I don't know, man. When you hosted me, a lot of your viewers are super nice. I yeah, no, there's a, you have a core. You, know I mean? you have your core boys and girls. You know? I and went then, really brutal for like a year on getting rid of anybody who's like complete shit in my community. Yeah. Yeah, no, That's I mean you, it has to be Twitch done. Show. Like it has to be done at some point. It so, may, yeah, yeah, it may have lost me some some viewers or whatever, but yeah. they're not the right viewers. They're not the viewers I want. Exactly. Have you ever had yeah. someone try to hit on you through donation? Once. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell you my story. I'm gonna tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You go can ahead. tell your story. Right. Yeah. So this guy, was, story, I'm not gonna say any names, by the way, right? Because I respect everyone's sexuality and whatever. I don't care. Oh, he's uh, a cap proprietor. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, I was I was just training way back in the day, dude. And this guy's being super nice to me. He's donating. Well, we're talking. He's pretty cool. He's got a Pokemon name. I'm fucking static about Pokemon. Well, he donates yeah. a twenty. I'm like, dude, thank you so much. That was super nice. He goes, call me babe. I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 I'm good. No yeah. more 20s after that. I was like, nah. Mm-mm. I'm not, not going to lie. There's a lot more capper fighters trying to hit on you as a guy than there are like any girls. You know, you're like, dude, like women are like, I get sexual, bitch. At least you're getting paid. Every day someone talks about my butthole and I don't get paid for it. I make minimum yeah. wage some nights, dude, and I get sexually harassed. I yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, only the that people shit. that praises you on, on Twitch, like, in terms of provocative stuff is usually a guy. Rice has seen my chat, man. It gets yeah. pretty, uh... Yeah, no, it gets raunchy, dude. It gets capper fried hard, you know? I mean, like, even some, like, you know... It's like I'm, viewers, not, I'm, but... I'm straight like 99% of the time, so it's like yo, I prefer. Yeah, I've seen know, that one percent. It's pretty keep nice. Keep it like I, you know, keep it I on Thursday. Like, no, no, no like, you. No, when I said when I said yes, I was like, uh, it was like flirty messages for sure, but it wasn't like got... call call me daddy. It wasn't anything like that. No, it wasn't anything. It wasn't anything weird like that. It was just like yeah. some flirty messages, and I'm I'm pretty sure it's like they half were, memes, you know. It flirty sure is girl. like a regular chat, dude. Ooh. I mean, have you ever got any weird? Yeah, Snapchats? you should have followed up. You know, follow up. <laughs> What, was this from girls or guys? Like, or what, just it's, it's it from guys apparently. I don't know. Yeah, no. I, 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 do, not I, I know it's not about me, guys. but I've actually had um, one female, and oh. it was fucked, dude, fucking weird. I, I, I tell the story because it's extreme. Second year streaming, mint mad cow, maybe thirty people max, and this girl's just like talking all sorts of dirty stuff, and I don't know how to. I don't, you know, I'm a new streamer. I don't know how to deal with this shit. And she goes, dude, I fucking, I want you so bad. Blah blah blah. And then she starts putting up guy asos of her body, and I'm like, this has got to be like, you know, some Google pics or whatever. But I didn't know you should got to ban those girls, right? Because it was not inappropriate. So I got to. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that, so I just, I was like, all right, whatever. This is fun for chat. And all of a sudden, she started drawing mint mad cow on her titties, I'm like. <laughs> no, and then you click on this last <laughs> Diazo, like, and then you didn't share. You're like, okay, I'm not. Yo, gonna what, are you, what, what are you doing, button? man? That you missed out on the golden ticket right there, but so golden that ticket of, uh, of the. It's like one so of those. I, I mentioned I was people. in Slay Stars back in the day. Yeah. Um, we went on to I think it was Chatterbait. It was one of it was one of those sites. Yeah, that was one of those. Oh, what's a Chatterbait? Oh, one of those camera oh, right. sites. We you were all in Q-Speak there. together though. There was like there was like probably like 10, 15 of us, and. Our friend Sam, fellow a fellow Slay Stars member, he donates twenty bucks to these girls to write Slay Stars on their tits. <laughs> the, picture's, the picture's out there somewhere. There's a picture out there of of, of these two oh girls. I forget the names, but oh, but man. I'm more uh, worried about it you guys all time. watching porn together. <laughs> I know. No, we're watching for the, for that Secret purpose because because My... Sam's like, watch, I'm, I'm gonna get them to do this. You just hear yeah, peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my it's god! It's interesting. Do you know what? I uh, with the recent All Stars, PvP All Stars, I have, I got my Instagram like popping off a bit because I had a lot of pictures to upload, 
Mm-hmm. And I don't really, I don't stream very much, so I don't really get guys hitting on me or like girls at all. I've got like a, my audience of girls is like 0.3%. Yo, it's like 0.4, like, let's get it. There's some big 7.4, no, no, what? 0.4. Oh, oh I, see, like, I was like, uh, shit, that's higher. good. I don't, I don't I don't see right. Just because they got a Twitter avatar of a female girl doesn't mean. Hmm. No, but, it's just um, my YouTube stats. That's what it's What are you saying about Instagram? <laughs> Yeah, just when I was uploading things. the pictures, like there was this dude that like liked all of my. You know, when they go back through all of your pictures, oh, he, li- oh, he liked like, every single Uh-oh. one, and he he was leaving all these like weird comments on my uh, on my post, and then he sent me a DM on Instagram. I just looked at it now, and it, it just says, "You're so uh, you're so handsome. It hurts. Why always the straight men? God damn it!" And no, I just like I, not... I hadn't even accepted it. Like fuck no, I'm not going there, dude. I'm about to show a weird flex. I'm about to show, I'm about to show a weird flex no. there. Look at that. I mean, wow. I, I, I'm, oh, I'm flattered. The guy I... Fiari look works, dude. What oh the fuck? Oh my god, this is not even fair, dude. What <laughs> how do you the find hell? that it's info, dude? Fair. I want to find it here. That's that's YouTube. I don't know how to. Yeah, find it's on much. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, Unbelievable, man. I got a YouTube. Man. Man. <laughs> oh my god, have you guys? Ever got any weird shit on Snapchat from your viewers? Yeah, I've had. Uh, I mean, like it's sanctioned. I don't. I don't sanctioned. check too many snaps. Like I don't snap much myself, so I don't like check them too much unless I'm traveling. Well, I tell everybody so I, they can hit me up know. on Snap. They need to like. Um... Oh, dude! <laughs> Sorry, I just checked. Uh, yeah. Yo, Zulu, what man. you got, Sit man? The Uh-oh. fuck. Oh down, no! Bro. What is this? Sit the fuck down. Come on. Yeah. Wow! You don't copy the image. Who's that, baby? Dude, come on! Give that's not. Piss. There's no way. No, I'm a that, woman's lady, yes, dude. That's, yeah, but dude, that's, no, that's you're, probably you're just lady. That's a lie. That's, oh, that's shit, probably just I mean, like I'm a lady. Man, your mom. Never mind. Two percent female bots. Fuck man. you guys! I win, dude. All right. Two <laughs> percent female bots. Come on, man. How do I? Is there a thing on Twitch for that or no? I have no idea. I never checked. I, dude, I, I never checked. There is. I don't know where to find that though. I, mean, like what do, I, don't, I don't even understand why that statistic. Well, I guess it kind of does matter. Because when you make like, the account, it'll it just doesn't. tell you, you know. It matters definitely matter. for like bigger channels. Cosmetic, to, bro. Yeah, you're a cosmetic know. channel. You kind of want to know. Yeah, you also know. You also know what art audience you're not hitting. Like if you're only hitting yeah. a 1.7% female audience. Man, I need to track a bigger you, female audience. That? that that's just how that's it true. Is. We all have. I, to. I guess it just doesn't appeal to us. Right, it's yeah. just gonna pop open that webcam every video. Dude. <laughs> yeah, we're gamers, dude. We don't care. <laughs> you know, we don't care. We don't care. If you want to watch, great. Thank you. Dude, Appreciate that you. that reminds <laughs> me. Talk, talking about like e girls, and I mentioned Asmund Gold earlier. I saw a re- I I went through like a stage of binge watching Asmund Gold. You guys know who that is? World of Warcraft. Yeah. Warcraft right? yeah, yeah. So Warcraft, he yeah. he's fucking I love that guy cuz he's so unique and different. Like he's literally been locked away in his mum's fucking basement <laughs> at, at for like years. Wait, what? Have you seen the videos of him cleaning his room? Yes, so, yes, yes. Dude, Jesus I, Christ. I like, all right, so just like a bit of a background on this kid called Asmund Gold. He is a hardcore World of Warcraft gamer. He's been playing it since like, you know, vanilla. And he's literally spent his life. Like, I don't know how old he is, but I guess like 26, 27. And he, he he's just, he, he's been molded by his environment. So all he molded. does is play video games. Like, he, I remember he told a story that was hilarious. I couldn't believe it. And he basically said that he was having an issue with all of his plates and cups in his room clogging it up. And he said, this become a predicament for me. And like, for most people, it would just be like, yeah, you just clear your room out or fucking take it downstairs and wash it. His, his uh, solution was to start throwing it out of his window oh and he's in the attic. God. And apparently at the bottom of his garden, there was just like, a, like it was like a fucking trash yard. And apparently Broken his, next door, his next door neighbor started complaining because they had kids. And every time they had like a barbecue, there were like so many wasps and shit that were attracted to all the soda cans and cups that they were stinging all of his kids. <laughs> like, long, long story short, but he's been like molded by his environment. All he does is play World of Warcraft. And it's made him into like a very unique character for somebody that I love in the bits, but you can tell that like his real life experiences are very limited. Yeah, Yeah, very disconnected. But it's made him into such an interesting character to listen to. You will not believe the stuff that he says. Yeah, it's like an anime character, dude. It's it's bizarre, but it's so funny because the way that he deals with stuff. He had this whole video, like I think it was like a few years ago. He had this video (laughs) cleaning his room and he pulls up and he's he's got this camcorder. And he's like, yeah, there's a McDonald's drink. I think that was from like last week. 
And then he's like, yeah. he, like he turns over. He's like, he's like, yeah, I don't remember when I ate that. Probably a couple months ago. And it was like, it's like there's like oh, the literally smell. like six, 60 cups. There's Dude. like 20, 20 fast food bags. He there's like the best. on top. There's there's no surface area. Everything on his desk. He even has like stuff like on top of his like computer. And it's like, oh my lord! I don't know how you live like that, man. Dude, it, but the thing is, is like you know the how you know if it's like the smell. The worst right? I get is like is like six or seven water bottles. Like that's like the worst I get. Yeah, dude, yeah. I get like two cups of water. A, pl in my a plate or table. two, maybe. Yeah, yeah and then right. Hold up, I, like, I need to link you this video, dude. If you can play this, if you don't know who this guy, he actually looks like mint, but ginger, dude. <laughs> But I, I, I fucking love this guy because he, he's like what the every... fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is fuck. He, Are you he's like, this is, kidding this me? This is man? a different video. This is even the same video. He's the only dude yeah. spry on my Instagram, dude. You're comparing me to this fucking goblet <laughs> over here. Oh man, oh, this guy's like my, this, this guy's my <laughs> idol in life, man. I, I love him. He's so fucking good. Oh my god, wait, are we playing it with sound on and everything, or not? Yeah, fuck it, yeah, fuck it, play it with a bit of sound, though. We don't have to watch okay. all of it. But, uh, I think the other day he got donated a thousand dollars, and the guy was like, the least you can do is clean your room. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this was the video. Mold warning. And, like, dude, he cleans, <laughs> he Those cleans that one is? table. He cleans that one table, and then the chat's like, what about the rest of your room? And he, like, pans his camera around, and you can just, his room is just filled with shit. Like, filled with it, dude. Yeah, if you says, read the it says top no comment. warning. <laughs> if you read the top no comment, warning. it says Asman's immune system is probably magnificent from being exposed to that shit daily. We're watching now. We're watching now. He probably doesn't get sick. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, no, never, dude. Here we are. Oh. I'm actually going to clean the room. I'm actually going to gonna clean my room. Taken care of. I haven't really done a lot of cleaning for a while. Thanks, Richie. Uh, for, for a while. You I've don't done say. Any a uh, very, very long time. What's a while? <laughs> okay. So, first thing here is a giant bag of Taco Bell stuff that is like a little bit greasy <laughs> and uh, definitely want to go to that. Okay, Makes so me we're feel good. That away. And then we've got some actual muffins here, but I'm not done with these. <laughs> no, uh, uh, okay. Some hostess. And oh, we have a Culver's bag. I forgot when I went to Culver's. Oh, there's also a moldy. There's a moldy uh, oh my hot dog God. in here. This is so where the plague's gonna come from, to. 2019. I, I think that we're done with this one. We don't need this anymore. We'll go ahead and we'll throw this. Nah, away. he'll be the only person to survive. Uh, Sonic. Oh, oh yeah, but it's so coming it's from his fucking house. house. Uh, so At least it's out. wrapped up. At least Alrighty. the food's like and, uh, covered. Uh, oh, something. Really Why? Nice Why did? Look how many like. No, it's not all covered. Look at that. That's oh, I mean, like, but not like touching the table. Someone dropped. Not the actual food. Oh, don't take a bite. Don't take a bite. Oh God. Wind it to 9 minutes 30, because I'm pretty sure he pans here. over at that point. Yeah, we will throw this away. Okay. Uh, this right here was a pastrami sandwich. Okay, here we go, here we go. We'll, we'll start Fucking here. drink, man. Damn, it's so clean now. See, I thought about getting a mini fridge, but it just made me fat. I have a mini fridge, but I whoa, don't whoa, use it much whoa. anymore. <laughs> Did it just put some popsicles oh, in that bitch? What did you guys Always think? Oh, oh, I'll show you guys. Oh, baby. This is the drink of victory. <laughs> oh, Let's wow. take a look at what we've done here. Oh, if baby. you ate one vegetable, I bet he blow the fuck up. Good. Thank you, man. Okay. It's so clean so now. Guys, I'm gonna tell you guys something, alright? Wait, did he pan it or not? No, he's gonna pan it in a second. <laughs> I'm a very, uh, very clean person. Uh, as you guys see, I'm very efficient. I, I, I got all that done. No problem. It's easy. So, uh, shove the other side. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't throw these are food. This is food now. I don't eat them. Why would I, this is good. I'm, I'm eating these right now. <laughs> what do you want to show the other right side? Uh, I, I'm eating those. Like, that's not garbage. I'm not throwing that a fucking way, dude. Oh my like, god. That, that's my bot. That's my snack. He's very bot. adamant. It's not getting thrown away. Give yeah, me he's a proud break. of his shit. That's the thing, man. It's like, he's I, I'm the cleanest good. guy. That That's the thing. That's what have. I love about this guy. Is like, oh, yeah, he, that. he is very disconnected from the real world, and he's that's so what makes him unique. Himself, he's like, yeah, he's okay with it. Oh yeah, hundred. Well, I fucking love this guy. I don't give a shit if he lives in filth, man, because this guy's just entertaining. But it just adds to his character and just shows you he's just out of touch with certain things. Yeah. Like, let's put put it this way: 
Like, <clears throat> if I lived in squalor like that, the first thing I'd think is like, if I ever brought a girl into this That's room, exactly what I was thinking just now. How, how would she react to it? And like, I can guarantee you would not be getting fucking laid. That's a guarantee. <laughs> like, Absolutely. there's no way, dude. No way. Hey man, it's, it's fetishes though. Dude, Remember we talked about this, man. We play game. Who gets laid anyway? <laughs> dirty man. room fetish. Yeah, you know. <laughs> is that a fetish? It's like, I want you to cuddle me in all your pile I, of food. I, I it's bet like, that's a thing, dude. Yeah, no, I'm not that yeah. There's, there's a, a baby book. fetish where they wear diapers, not the other way around. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. That's fine, that. Yeah, yeah let's, let's not talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's actually really... Yeah, it's it's a it's a I, I, can't, I can't say it's messed up, because, like, at the end of the day, don't judge it until you've tried it, and everybody's uh, not into something that. different, you know? You don't have we, to try it, but, I you know... Diaper. There's, there's a lot of things I can not try and I can judge. That I'd rather yeah. not try. Eating your own <laughs> shit, don't try it. I mean, I I personally try not to judge people too heavily on stuff like that. Even it, like unless unless it's actually harming somebody, then I I don't judge. And then you know, all, like, if that's what all out, you go all out. Yeah, that's fucking beautiful, dude. Life lessons right there. <laughs> what were we talking about, RuneScape wise? By the way, I forgot. I yeah, no, we, we were talking about like the the whole skilling stuff, but, oh, so, but yeah, 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 it's yeah. all good because we kind of covered it. You know, you're just kind of doing your own thing. But yeah. okay, one okay. This one's pretty controversial. You might get a lot. Well, yeah, hold on, before ahead. we go to that yeah. though, I think I think it offends people that mm -hmm. I don't care as much as they care. Yeah, no, it's true, definitely. Because some people like they, they like, see. I care one about way. the game. I'm super yeah. passionate about the game. Yeah. But I don't care where I fall in the high scores. Yeah, like, I yeah. could I could fall yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, like that, you know, yeah. this is kind of like. Uh, well. I like being top page. It's nice, and then I'm gonna try to keep it for a little yeah. bit, but. I don't yeah, know. I mean, at the end of the day, it just comes down to whatever you enjoy the most. Yeah, you know? it's ultimately yeah. your account, your decisions. But you know, yeah, it's crazy yeah. though, because like some people, you know, they see, they like, they think of you as some sort of like stereotypical player of something, right? They like, they'll see you only as like that's so like, true. The high score, but guy, you're the high score the guy, amount, right? The amount of people in the skilling community who just call me a PVMer is laughable. <laughs> it's, yeah. 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 No. It, it's it sucks though, cause you're like, man, dude. You know, it's I'm me, man. You only know me as like one thing, and it, and it sucks, cause you, yeah. you, you're you're way more than just that one guy that just competes for ranks or whatever, right? I hate like just fitting into one of those categories. Yeah, cause know. you're not like I don't. I hate, that's why I hate identifying myself as. I'm like, definitely not Iron like a PKer. Man. I yeah. I know I'm not a PKer. Yeah. I have PK on Deadman though a lot, and I I do like PK. I like PKing in like 2014. Like I used to do a lot of PKing, but Ooh. what kind? I'm not. Uh, a lot of a lot of just like uh wildy like singles and and multi stuff with like teams. Any, oh, so, any like, not not much not much edge or PvP world or anything like that. But. Yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of those either. I um that's kinda how I talk about RuneScape. It's like everyone kinda tries to fit into one category. It's like oh yeah, I I don't like efficiency I hate or skill or PVM or PK. I'm like yeah. that's why everybody hates each other. Because like if yeah, you're no, gonna categorize yourself as something the division. I hate the division, hate yeah. the division <laughs> of the community. It's right? so lame. Yeah. I play RuneScape Imagine, it's okay, fun, not because of God, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say Fortnite again. But imagine, <laughs> <laughs> imagine some guy who plays squads shitting on some guy for playing solos. Like, what the fuck? No, shut up. Like, nobody does that. Nobody's like, yeah, oh, dude, you only bad, play solos, yeah, you shit, bad, or all the, you only play squads, you get carried. Right? Yeah, you know? and I guess people it's just are... so easy to fit into a, a group grouping. Well, in, yeah, because in people game. don't want to go into the wilderness, but it's like literally almost half the map. Of original RuneScape, right? Yeah. You're missing out on so much. And it was people so only PK when 2K Same Worlds thing, came out. When 2K Worlds came out, there wasn't that many PKers at 2K. Oh yeah. So like the a, a bunch of people that I knew, we like we all just went out there and team uh, and just killed everybody. We that dominated. We, we went out in multi. And there's a clip somewhere. I really want to find it. I can't find it right now because it's not on this PC. <clears throat> there's a clip of us in Max Mage, like Arcanes, ACBs, and, and, and like we have like Max oh Mage, God. Max Range, Void everything deep wildy like at scorpia with our pets out and everything we're, we're like killing one guy like we're we're <laughs> deep into like the scorpia pit and we're just like out here in max because nobody nobody could touch us at that point but then it changed obviously yeah you try that now you can't do that anymore <laughs> oh the 2k but world we got, got, like, we got reduced on them. as they say we got reduced to mystics we yeah. reduced the mystics yeah to basics. Do you, wait, wait. Do you, do you guys think there's a reason why there's that big divide in the sense of why is it people are only specifically skillers, PVMers, or Well, that's PKers? more of like, um, why are people racist? You know, there's always no, going to be think I think it's just really races. easy to fit into one of those categories because it's very distinguishable between okay. the two. There's like an easy barrier. Ego plays a part. Yeah. 
Yeah, because like the way that I see it is, um, I I can I'll speak for myself on this matter. I know that I'm very competitive with what I do, so I find it really difficult. Like, say, if I wanted to do PVM and PKN, I would find it very difficult to want to be the best PVM or what at the same time being the best PK because yeah. Yeah. it's such a competitive environment in every aspect of RuneScape. It's like you're almost you almost have to just focus on the one thing to become the best you can at it. And then you either stick at it and stay the best, or you you know go over to doing something else. Like for me personally, that, that's what I find. Right? Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Because like I I I don't PK, but like I do skilling too, right? But at the same time, I know my my skilling knowledge is way more subpar, you know, compared to like what I what I know PVMing. So yeah, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think ego ego is a big factor. It's like people who PVM. Think that anybody who skills could, could never PVM. People who skill think that people who PK could never skill. People that PK yeah. think that people who yeah, PVM no, I try to not could to think never like that, PK. You know? I try like, to they, think, that's, yeah. that's, their, that's the mindset though. Yeah. It's like, a lot you're of people so do think bad like that, at the yeah. game that you can't even do what I do. And yeah, it's like, no, it's it's like that's not true. It's just right. like, it's just yeah, your yeah, own commitment. No, it, it's really, time. it's not true at all. Like, I'm talking about, sorry, talking about ego. It's like, I PK'd on RuneScape for probably 10 mm. years if not a little bit more like solely pecan is all i cared about ego mm. was fucking massive when i was younger oh. regarding pecan <laughs> and it is oh, yeah. great it's crazy because i didn't start doing pvm properly until 2000 uh, 2007 old school was released that's when i kind of like faded away from doing pecan because i wasn't really enjoying the environment got into pvm like i wouldn't say in a million years that i was even close to being like the best at it there's no fucking way like i'm not on the level of probably you zulu and you're mainly like do skilling but you're a really good pvmer but um it, it, it's crazy to really think about that because like now you've mentioned that it's like i've built my youtube channel purely from pvm like that's how my channel blew up was through doing pvm and i'd never even done it before you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I just yeah. started doing challenges, and people like the challenges. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Nuts. Yeah, like I they don't particularly anybody... care about that that skill set. They liked your content, you know? They like the way you did your content. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Uh, what was I gonna say? The I think that anything in life, not just RS, but like if you actually try to, if you actively try to improve at what you're doing. You'll better. go miles above. You'll go miles above the average, like way, way above the average. Yeah, like dude, if, like you can. There was this video I watched recently. It was like, um, like last night I think, and this guy was roasting um, wrestling fans or not wrestling MMA fans, and That's he was funny. wrestling. He was like, he was like roasting the comments. And in the comment, one of the guys said something about like, um, I've been doing MMA for twenty seven years. I know what I'm talking about. You know what you're talking about. To like this other guy, there was like this argument, and he was like roasting it. But he's like, dude, you could be trash for twenty seven years. You don't have like just because you do it for that long doesn't mean you're good. Just like yeah. for RS, if you it's if like you, you guys still, are talking about my RuneScape career right now. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, if, if all you do is PK, but you're not getting better, you like somebody yeah, can PK yeah. for like three months and be better than you. Yeah, like, no, dude, that, that's I, um. If they're, if they're focusing on the right things, they improve. Yeah. yeah, dude, I remember back when I got into PK, and like obviously you start off pretty garbage and you get better. But I remember like the training I did. To get to where i was back in the day because back in the day with pk and i was like a mage bank britain i'd say i was pretty fucking good at it um like I, I would make a lot of money for it and i'd very rarely die but i remember like when i was in like the process of training for it i would literally sit in the grand exchange waiting for my clan to get online to go on a pk trip and just be sat there practicing my switches for hours like i just have 28 items in my inventory and do it flawlessly over and over again for fucking hours what every a nerd. single day <laughs> but that's that's the thing like I, I think another reason why people are so divided is the the difference between being like the average in something and being the best is huge like oh, yeah. if you want if you want to just be like a skiller and just do skilling you can probably get pretty far but then if you want to go from being like just a moderate skiller to being like on the top High 20 leaderboards that is a there's a massive gap there there's yeah. a huge Time gap commitment, knowledge yes. commitment it, it's enormous memory, all that and stuff, i think yeah. i think that adds into why runescape is so competitive because there are those players that are the best and they, they put those hours in yeah, the yeah and then factor. there's a lot of up-and-comers that are like hey i want to be like this person or i want to be there 
and they they just start cracking on with it, focusing, putting the time in and stuff, and it just adds to the competitive. Yeah, no, that, like I always tell people, you know, like I mean, you know, I, <clears throat> I PVM mostly on stream, so there's always people are like, oh my god, I'll never be able to click like this or like do this boss, and and it, it, you know what I mean. You can either take it to like you can feel about it in two different ways. You feel like you get a power trip because like, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. You're never gonna be this good, or you can be like, look, you just gotta put in the time. And and if you put in the time to research and you practice, you will never be yeah. as good as me. Yeah, like yeah, I mean, like because it sucks because either, either way you say it, it sounds it sounds like you're it still sounds uh. like you're a dick, which sucks. But like I always tell people, man, look, you put in the time and the effort, you 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 good, man. You you get there. I, right? I agree that practice makes perfect, mm. but makes I better. don't I, think that's, that's why RuneScape like people hate each other. I think. Oh no, uh, man, that's not the reason why. I'm just saying okay. like a lot of people no, but feel people, like. I think people are, yeah, but people are just offended about like people not playing the way they play. They're yeah. like they're that's, like oh, mm. you only skill. It's because it's because you can't PK. It's because you oh, can't. It's agree, like, it's like that's no, like that's like yeah, that's yeah. a big factor of it. Yeah. I think it's more of um, also it's just because people like to segregate when they can. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like RuneScape yeah. three players old school. Why do we hate them? They're not us. Skillers uh, yeah. PK. Why do we hate them? <laughs> eh, they they're not doing what we're doing. Like it's just why the fuck do humans segregate any yeah, no, chance I mean, they get? You know, like, what's up with that? Dude? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> some deep psychology. A lot of people are just not comfortable with themselves at all. Right. So they have to like project their insecurities, you know. Oh yeah, that's dude, what yeah. it is. They got deep. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just yeah. it goes, back to, that, it is, it it goes back to that. Like the 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 most toxic people are the loudest as well. It's like yeah. most Clans. people are cool with everybody else. Can I just? I want to say one thing, man. Clans, all right, always be bitching, Rexy, right? They always be bitching, shitty. Why you say it? Why, why do you say it? Why do you say Right, Rexy? Yeah, yeah, you, you I'm, not, I'm not even people. in a clan, dude. <laughs> right, Rexy? I'm not even in a clan. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. That's why. Well, when you bitch back to a clan, they get so phenomenally butthurt that they can't deal with it. You know, and they're, they're thinking like, cry more, you're a baby. Isn't that what they're doing? Isn't that like they're just throwing tantrums when you talk shit because they can't yeah. handle it? But they well, always talk shit, but they cry so much. These dude. clans are pussies, dude. What do you mean? That's all it, they do. It's just one of those things. I'm not going to hit on clans. I'm not going to go all out. Like, yeah. right. put, no, 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 no. There's some cool clans that I'm just saying, like PvP-wise, dude. There's put put, put it this way. I ex <laughs> I'll tell you my experience, right? So back when I was becoming the PKR I was, like this is probably back in 2010, like, 2011. Like, that, that sounded like a, like a movie intro. Yeah. yeah. Back in my day. So I'll just explain this. 2007. This is like, this is what it was like for me, yeah? So I had nothing going for me in real life, yeah? Damn. I had nothing. Like, genuinely, oh, so like, 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 nothing. It's so that, like, put it that way, but like... Yeah, but that's how it was. That was the truth. I had nothing academ either. academically. Yeah. Uh, I had nothing good going at all. The only thing I was good at was killing people in <laughs> RuneScape. That was literally it. So, you know, for me, I perfected that. And you're completely right. I very much, I, I definitely projected my, like, self-worth and disbelief in myself onto others that I'd kill. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's what a lot of people do. Well, so yeah. when people are really toxic, I don't get angry back at them now because I'm just like, I was there once. I understand why you feel like that. It's kind of sad, but yeah. you know, mm -hmm. someday you might actually do something and you'll be happy with yourself. And that's just a part of maturing. See, that was a bigger up. roast than I had. What you're saying yeah, no, is okay, empty inside. You hear yeah. that? It's yeah, no, it's true. I, like, it sucks. It's it's true. Like sometimes, you know, you feel you feel out of place. You're confused in your life in general. That, oh, wow, this is going. That is a very deep, good but, point, though. Yeah, a lot. I think, especially in RuneScape, I hate mm -hmm. to say it, but I think especially in RuneScape, there's a lot of people like that who they take their self worth from RuneScape RS because like yeah. they, it's like. I don't think there's anything. I, I guess there is something wrong with it, and when you look at like yeah, yeah, like sociology, but mm -hmm. like people draw their their hentai? values and okay, what they uh, yeah I don't know what. <laughs> well, no, there's <laughs> a lot draw, of hentai on RuneScape, my bad. <laughs> they draw hentai. Okay, just, anyways, they, they draw like their satisfaction, and and the game means a lot to them. Yeah. So when they they lash out at you, it's like they're kind of like echoing their own yeah. Dude. This yeah, guy, like, like another this way. Taste. Another way to put it is that With you didn't world. feel too accomplished <laughs> in in outside of RuneScape, but you do feel pretty accomplished is, in whatever it is. I'm okay specialized. with that because life yeah. is kind of shit sometimes. So if you need to get enjoyment from a game, yeah, and you yeah, need yeah. that to be your outlet. Yeah, but I'm talking like. I didn't mean for this to get deep. I actually yeah, have no, but uh, uh, yeah, but some people a degree don't, in psychology, which is pretty that, funny though. here. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying is like. 
I ain't trying to be deep at all. I'm just saying if a clan's going to be bitching at you and you bitch back, their pussy's about it. That's what I'm saying. And that's legit a fact. Like, they cannot take criticism. All those big clans, man. Uh, you, you just talk shit on them. They'll come back at you worse, dude. It's like they get butt hurt. Yeah, right? yeah, no, that's but, what I'm saying. They yeah, can't that's, handle that's their own a, shit. That's a mob mentality, right. though. You so, know, that, so that's, I think that's a different that. thing. Try to understand I that from this, right? So, I'm sorry, if there man. if there's a clan which is on you and like you say something back, the worst thing to say to a clan while they're attacking you is anything back, regardless of whether it's anything good or bad. Any, yeah, any, like, anything, anything at all. Their, their, their mindset. <laughs> Dude, yeah. their mindset is like it's such a horrible place that regardless of what you say, they'll take it in the wrong way. Yeah, you know no, what because I mean? it's even a mob you... mentality there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So mentality. even if you compliment them, they will think that you're even being sarcastic or, you know, something along those lines. I've tried um, to compliment clans, to be honest. It's, pro- it's quite true. You cannot get on their good side. They're no, just no. angry little fuckers. Because they're, dude. see, they're, they're not there for you. I even said, hey, dude, if you got too. nothing going on in life, but this is not me, dude. Feel free to talk yeah. to me, man. But I, I'm there for you, mate. They something to think something uh, to think is like yeah if you if you speak now. to them and you say something and they take it the wrong way which 99 percent of the time they will in their heads and their mindsets and i can completely say this from my point of view they see it as this you said something to them which ticked them off Provoke. and in that case how can they get back at you and they do the only thing that they're good at and that's kill you and then flame you afterwards. That's pretty yeah, much no, it. That's that, how it works. Yeah, Rakesy, but, Rakesy, I agree. Yeah. I agree, man, because when I play other games, dude, me and my friend get a little obnoxious. And, but yeah, we don't be as feisty, horrible you know? as some people are. But you ever play a game, you start shit talking a little bit. It's fun, dude. And they shit talk back. And it's fucking hilarious. Clans don't do that. You shit talk back, they get their period. All right? They'll post on Reddit. They'll go on Twitter. They'll hit up your YouTube. They'll literally try to ruin your life. These are shitty people that cannot take yeah. criticism. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm not. That's all I'm trying to say. Tool. Like, it's it's hypocritical, yeah. though. It's like they start it, they can't take it. I'm like, if they could take a little bit of banter, dude. Like some clans can't. Yeah. We need graces, proximity but... chat. But oh my god, is, I was thinking, dude, I'll be back on that one. Too. Oh I'm sorry. my god, that, that's right. <laughs> uh, Min, role play thing, role. The thing to take from that mint is what I just said about yeah. a lot of the time they are projecting their real life values and how their real life's going. So if somebody is like flaming the shit out of you when you die and you're just like, why the fuck do they care so much? You know, you've always got that. You always know that it's just one of those things. They probably just don't believe yeah. in themselves. They're just trying to feel and... satisfied. Yeah, that, that's yeah. it. You it should sucks. feel sorry for them, if anything. I you do. honestly I feel do, sorry. Man, but it fucks my content up, so they can suck. I'm trying to do something with my life, and they're sitting and here eating Doritos, dude. dude. Fuck them, man. If I, I could care, I don't have a dad. I can content, get all though, fucked. Man. Yo, yo. Yeah, you uh, should do that. The they're yo, pussies, dude. Yo, 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 let's let's go to Dr. Phil and get the clans on there, too. You know, Racy, all you need a therapist degree, dude, and then you start making money on RuneScape, man. Just RuneScape therapy. What's going on, That's the new channel, boys. RuneScape therapy. Bring I do not toxic clan this. members. I'm not but... involved in this. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, it, it, 100% though, it doesn't just come from PKers. I've had yeah, incidents no, it with skillers. Oh, I didn't um, mean anything right. like that. There's yeah. some no, he's just using it as an example because yeah. he hates yeah. the wildy clans. Absolutely. He hates it's, well, just, it, it, it's just one of those things. And let's be honest, old school RuneScape. RuneScape in general is an incredibly grindy game. I would say most people, including myself, played RuneScape when I was younger. To kind of escape the boring real world and do something which was satisfied, satisfying. Like in real life, you can't go out and kill fucking dragons and like loot shit. That's yeah, the yeah. fun aspect of RuneScape, you know. But I'll That's... tell you an incident I had with a skiller. Uh, I think his name was, and I know Zulu. No, oh no, name uh, Zulu. I I actually just <laughs> saw him on high scores. His name's like Randalicious. Oh, like, Randalicious. Yeah, like, yeah, I see that guy's right. Twitter all the time. So, I'm pretty sure he's like competing on the on the high score. Wait, he's level one set. What's his overall rank? Yeah. Hey man, Holy if this shit. guy's toxic, you better watch what you say, dude, because that guy gets yeah. oh, bring I, I, dude, no, Randy, Randy no. can't be on social media for like six months because of his work. But anyways, what are you saying? Right, so I had this I was making a video and it was basically uh money makers that people hadn't thought of. And I made a, a brand new account and I went to the Karen Slayer Cave Catacombs, whatever it's called. And you know the when you can like pick up the loot from the Necreals? Right? Mm-hmm. So I was there and I was oh, waiting for the no. drop. Yeah, I was waiting for the drops to come. And I was on a brand new account. Obviously, the guy, he didn't recognize the account. And um, there were two people. There was a looter, and that was him stood there. And he was barraging. And I started picking up some loot. And he said something in game and logged out. And I was like, okay, he's gone. I'm going to hop to the next world. He was in that world. And I thought that he was flaming the person that was picking his stuff up. 
And then out of nowhere, he went like just absolutely ballistic on me, like in game, like just flaming the shit at me, like crazy anger. <laughs> and I just stood there and I just spoke to him and I was just like, mate, I was like, listen, I was like, if you said to me that you didn't want me picking up your items, then all you had to do is say that. And I would have left. I said, I thought the person that was looting the loot with me was somebody else. And it turned out to be his all. Uh, yeah. And then I remember I opened up my Twitter because my phone was going mad. And I had like a million messages that he tagged me in saying, uh, gonna be in one of Rape C's fucking Oak Dice's videos or some shit like this. <laughs> and I, I was just reading it like, what oh the fuck? God. I was it like, is, like, I was like, like boy, dude. Fuck. Yeah, I was like, is this guy for real? Like, is he actually that upset that I picked up like a rune med off the floor when I would have just left if he wanted me to? And he's a maxed rich account, right? So, I mean, yeah, this is... But it, what, it is, I'm, what I'm trying to say is it that it comes from all aspects of the game, you know? Whether oh, no, you're not wrong, skilling, no. P PVM, PK, no, and etc. It's I'm everywhere in the game. Two Randy's defense, though. Two I'm Randy's sorry, defense. The, meth the method for Necreals with an alt is to have your alt pick up loot so you can keep yeah. rocking. Yeah, so you can auto Because yeah. 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 your alt can out because you're not on normals. 100%, which so is what I, I, I worked that out afterwards. Yeah. But, like, but I, I you said gotta to realize, him. Again, again from, his, from his perspective, you got to realize he probably does like three or four Necreal tasks a day and deals with looters all the time. So yeah. maybe he does that to everybody, or maybe he's just like, well, was mad regardless, that day. regardless of whether he does or not, the way that he handled it was just it At was the time, put it this you know put it this way. I've been in the PKN community for a long time, and it was pretty much up there with some of the worst stuff I've seen. And yeah, it, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I, equally the as thing local. is, I, I'm not a toxic person nowadays. So if he just said to me, "Do you mind hopping?" I'd have been no, like, is. fine, but he literally just called me like a fucking scumbag or some crazy shit in the chat, and I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, hey, get, get good, dude. Stop looting. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to make a video, man. Come on, dude. Necreals, but... Necreals in the catacombs are one of the most toxic places in the game. Yeah, yeah. but it's it's one of those things, because some people don't mind it, and then obviously, like, I'm guessing the people that are going for EHP and stuff, like, they really do, because that's a lot of cash coming into the game. But it's yeah. just stuff that I didn't even know about. And I'm sure that half of the looters, that, and that's their main accounts, they ain't got fucking clue. But the way that he handled that situation was just, it was poor. You know? This gift is bad. crazy. Is this is this gift the final form of the Hydra? It's a dragon. Oh, no, that's the worm. The oh, worm. the new worms. Okay. Yeah, the worm. Yeah. It looks really cool. Are we getting um, strike worms, or is it just like worms? Something just else? worms. Yeah. Just worms. Worms yeah. and drakes and. Uh... Is Drake the other one, the one who like on the checkerboard? Is that the Drake? Oh, um, I'll scroll the up. It's, I'll scroll up. This is the Drake. Oh no, it's that's the, that's the Czar monster, right? No, that's the Drake. That shit looks yeah. sick, dude. What is that from the Czars? Is that yeah the Tassa call thing? Um, that's from. It says the right Drake? there. It says Tassa. Oh, okay. I don't know the name. It's just a the, the Drake. Yeah, one that, that's, that's like the new Czar monsters. Like oh like yeah, the, the dungeon the monsters. monsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They're from the new Slayer dungeon. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Dude, I love this. This is awesome. I like. This are we talking about Geico. toxicity again? Or are we jumping into dragon? Uh, no, <laughs> just, no, I'm just like showing off some pictures on the side while you guys. Oh, you know, okay, all right. Well, change of scenery. So when I was talking about clans, PVP clan, I deal with PVP clans a lot. But I, I'll give them one thing, man. At least they're angry in a PVP environment, dude. Some of these yeah. scaling clans. How do you get angry out of inanimate objects? You know, there's PVM clans that will literally. Bro. The only anger, crash people they'll crash the iron men from on re purpose like what the fuck dude what it comes from two things it comes from entitlement like they feel like they they, they own it you know, they own it but at the same time it's kind of like they were there like before you um like I, ego it's also like it's also high. again it's yeah it's, it's ego it's like i am better than you like that's like that's like the mindset is like I'm yeah, better than yeah, you, yeah. so... Yeah, I've specialized, you know, I've matter, trained... Or something. I've done the things that you haven't... Can you yeah. imagine if somebody, like, let's like say, like, Bill Gates tweeted out, I'm I'm richer than you, so your opinion matters. Doesn't matter. Real life, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, that's probably true. He's probably not wrong. But you don't need to say it. Yeah, you don't. There's so many, yeah. there's so many people on the top on the top of, like, the EHP ranks who I, I love how much they grind. I love their ability to grind. But, God, they're... I don't like them as a person. Because well, if you, they feel the way too. It's probably gonna social media. I don't probably like attract a lot of shitty people though. I just, like, I don't like the behavior. I, I, want, I want to root for them, but I can't. There's like, there's not many people on that are that are top players that I can name that are not. Like, do they make it clear that like, <laughs> oh look, man, 
Look, I'm I'm just the top dog in this field, you know. A like, lot of that skilling toxicity comes from like the like they're on a voice chat for ten hours a day as well. Yeah, like, yeah, echo chamber like, themselves. You know how you're saying Asmund Gold is very uh yeah, echo chamber, yeah. He says you know you said Asmund Gold is very uh um what's the word? Disconnected? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These guys are pretty disconnected too. And I, I used to be like in I used to sit on Team Speaks like ten hours, fourteen hours a day, talking to people, the same people, the same Yeah, like, it's it's like an echo 10 chamber. To 20 bro. people for every single day. So uh, if, even if they said something that was extremely just uncalled for, I would just go with it because it's like, you know what? Fuck it. Like we're we talked about all the time. I'm gonna I'm gonna back my boy. Right? Yeah, no, it's a confirmation but, yeah. bias all day, every day. So you can't yeah. ever get the other side, which makes Raising sure so it, which clouds your mind. You know? Like, yeah, it builds up this extremely uh, awful behavior from the outside looking in. Yeah, because you just can't see from the outside. It's impossible. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know your jokes. We don't know you. We don't know. We, yeah. Like we only know what we know. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> we only know what we read on Twitter. Yeah. That's, That's like true. we don't. It's it's hard to know the person. Aiza, Ben, feels feels Aiza, man, dude. God damn it, dude. He's yeah, yeah, I, I love that. I love that. That, that came out of no. I was wondering if you were bring that up. No, I, but Ben, but Ben, uh, he says this, he says to me in person. He said it's, it's actually it was about Randalicious. That's why that's actually pretty funny. But he's saying <laughs> I've had. He said I went on a Discord call with Randy for a couple hours one time, and he was completely different than he is on Twitter. And it's like, it, like sometimes that's how it is, right? You you see a Twitter personality, and you fucking don't like them you're like i don't like this person i don't want to like this person all their tweets make me angry i will never be on their good side then he he said i you know i gave it a try i went to this discord call with him for a couple hours and he seemed like a genuine guy and it's funny how like the twitter personality of a lot of these guys <clears> is like awful like it's terrible their behavior is awful they aren't doing themselves any favors by favors by being like complete cunts online um but if you actually got to talk to them, maybe they'd be okay. Yeah. You know? No, definitely. And it's, 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 like, Aiza kind of told me about that. And like, kind of, I was kind of thinking, like, yeah, that's probably kind of true. Like, looking back at some some of my own tweets, like, I've kind of tried to be less of a, a dick. Because I, kind of I was kind of a cunt last year. I've tried to be better. I've tried to, you know, it's like, you realize that. Once, as soon as you realize that, like, you change, like... The behavior. Yeah, no, it, it, it's just really easy um, to uh, how to how to put it. It's just like depending on your environment, right? You know, you, you don't know your account, you will always be a cat. Yeah, because right? you, like, you know, if you're if you're always with their same boys, they all feel the same way about something. You'll never yeah, you feel, feel boys. different. You know, you'll never feel different. You talk to the same like five people. What happens when one of them quits? It's like you. It, then you talk to yeah. the same four people, and then like you're all alone, and then you're you're all alone, but you've been molded into this complete piece of yeah. shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> like that <laughs> mentality, man. To put, actually, to put it yeah. lightly, that's how it happens. It's yeah, yeah. Once you become yeah. that mob, and you're not willing to check out different things to different venues and have stuff, have a hypothesis locked, yeah. about that mob mentality. Then a couple years back, so if you you're guys don't know, Rachel would bro? know, but he doesn't PK <laughs> anymore. <clears throat> but he still knows about clans. Let's be real. Um, <sighs> So, the wilderness <laughs> is, is pretty much being shit on at a daily. Single clans, multi clans, whatever, and all these single PKers or people in just groups are getting demolished. It's a food chain, so they join the bigger chats. And when you join there, you got to fit in, right? So that mob mentality thing hits. So the more people joining those clans, the more people in mob mentality, the more people are toxic as fuck. Feel stronger, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so year after yeah. year, the wilderness has been dying <laughs> because of that. And I just. There's not really a way to stop it because if you go out there and PK, you're going to get slapped by a clan. So you join the clan, who are you going to slap? Another like, clan. Yeah, that's that's a sad that's a sad <laughs> truth. Is that the PKers? I don't want to say the PKers in general. I don't want to say this in like a general way of like all PKers, but like the PKers killed PKing themselves. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they, like a lot of a lot of people I see <laughs> blame awful. they blame Jagex, they blame is, killing, right? they blame. They blame lack of PvP updates, which I can I can understand the lack of PvP updates. Like that's, that's definitely mean, a good call, Matt. But that's not the reason PvP yeah, is dead. No, let's be real, no. right? Back in the, the day, reason PvP right? is dead is because there's there's no honor. The mentality no, has changed. You know, it's the, just the everybody's in a clan. Yeah. There's it's just no one all, wants to do it. No one wants to do much it. There's too much of an man. ego. There's no yeah. fun. No, just, nobody nobody wants to die because their egos are so high. So they they always teleport. 
They don't. They don't. Yeah, stay no, for be, the because you know what it is. It, double it's name like, change. It's become an obligation. Yeah. You know, it's not. You're, you're not going there to have fun anymore. You're going there for a mission. And it's either it's the same, something it's the same few people now. Yeah. It's like you all you don't see anybody you don't recognize. Yeah, like regularly. like you know the idea Usually. of just PK to have fun. Like a lot of people don't have that in their system anymore. I, mean, I, don't really... PK, I don't PK as much as you guys, so I'm, I'm curious, yeah. Mint. Oh, Rice you, PKs do, all the time, dude. You, <laughs> I PK my chat, you know. <laughs> do you see the same names pretty much all the time at Revs? Uh, sometimes. Like, do you, uh, there's do you, definitely how... like those clans, those single ma mace clans. You kind of watch out for those names, and uh -huh. they'll change them up a little bit. Uh, there's actually there's some uh, single clans that actually stole my name, Mint Maid Cow. If you see a couple oh, of those really? out there, it's because they hate <laughs> me so much, I, or they love me and they just are shit talking. They, they hate and know. love you. You know, it's, a, yeah, it's something a like that. But it's like people people don't like dying anymore. It's like it's mm -hmm. weird. It's p the only place. It's the only place in the game where there's risk too. Yeah, like I think that's why PVM yeah. got such a big such a big climb is because they took yeah. the risk on the PVM. No one wants to risk. When you, yeah. die, when you die, you have an hour to get your shit back. You yeah, don't lose it. Yeah. So I mean, now nobody is, wants to do anything risky. The, yeah, the thing is, like, honestly, we just need kits again, man, to do the wilderness stuff. That's I, I don't think there's anything we can really suggest or that will change when it comes to people's mentality. Because, yeah, like, because realistically, people got older, that's what it is, man. Yeah, if people, people are in older. like a bad mindset, then they're just in a bad mindset. And hopefully, by the time they mature, they have some real life experiences that will humble them and they realize, oh shit, that's stuff that I used to do. I was a bit of a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Because that's pretty yeah. much what happened yeah, to me. Clouded, I had like a. Yeah. I had like an epiphany where I was just like, holy shit, I was such a retard back in those days. And like, <laughs> you know, it, it's just one of those things, you know, you grow as a person and depending on your life experiences and what you truly like holds like dear to yeah. you is like morals and values that will change you and that turn you into somebody else. Well, you know? Yeah, How he I transcended see it, man. life, baby. He woke because. You guys are thinking, you know, there's some people in dark places. The wilderness is always going to be dead, dude. I'm telling you, hire Mod Minty. I'll get that wildy running, dude. Yo, yo. It was just a handful of <laughs> shitty people controlling a lot of decent, moderate people, right? Because that yeah. mod mentality. I mean, like, what, how what much of a factor? Is, yeah. How much yeah. of a factor is is it the people, and how much of a factor is it the risk? No, I I think it's a lot of the... like like not even the risk of like losing money, like losing oh, yeah. like a couple hundred k, but the risk Any... of like. You PvP died. game. Like, There's some shitty people in there, always being toxic, racist, whatever, dude. RuneScape, it's the same way, but it's just like a handful of people, and they right. all they play so much, right? So they're at the top of their clans, right? Rot, for instance, they're shady, right? There's there's some cool hey, people. You in Rot. The name drop, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I've met some cool Rot members, dude. But okay. Rot even knows there's some shady people at the top, and I'm actually afraid to mention those people. Oh, we know. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> talked about them, like you know, mafia, like, like shit yeah. in RuneScape. Uh, yeah. That is fucking, you know, they'll fucking find your address and shit, dude. And if you just take out some of these really shitty people from the wilderness, dude. No, but like, okay, like, so, so. Kerm ban some people. I promise the wilderness is going to be packed and running again. Dude. I think yeah, you should. Yeah, but like, like, honestly, I, I, you're, you're, dude, you're not fixing a, the problem because if you, you ban those guys, they just come back on a different account. But like, Perm, keep it. You find out. Ah, what? I mean, yeah, that's, that's the hard part. What's the problem, yeah, no. though? Like I'm what, saying that's what do you guys part. think the problem is in PV, PvP? No, I think the I real problem... Think it's, I think it's... Yeah, you, sorry. Go, you go ahead. Uh, yeah, I think it's the fact that the PKers, like I said, PKers ruined PKing or they killed PKing by get, taking getting rid of honor. Like that's that's no longer a thing. Getting rid of... Uh, the, everybody's got this ego, all that. And also, this like the um, <clears throat> there's not much to gain. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. I get that, but okay. it ties to one thing I want to say. It's honestly, I think it's just we got older. That's what it is, bro. When when PK back in the day, when we were all playing, you know what the demographic at that time is like teenagers, kids. Well, the, what Rakesy said was it, it's still it's, the same way back in the day. It's just we had a ton, and I mean a ton more people playing the game. So it wasn't like there was yeah, some. Yeah, but, uh, but like a lot of. Look at today's numbers. But we're not efficient, that. though. We're That's not, the thing. Back but then, it wasn't about being while. Efficient, Back in the day, you know? what did you used to watch, dude? What were the top videos? There are no progression videos, PK, no Iron Man PK shit. videos, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, but yeah. I, no, I, think, I think the aging That's process the ha has a lot to do with it because it's you not know, really. I've had this theory. Necessarily oh, sorry, about, going, yeah. Like, I don't think it's necessarily about how many people are playing because there's a lot of people playing right now, but like, a lot of it's how we were when we were younger, you know? Because I was not very efficiency driven. I just kind of like did what I wanted to do, you know, like whatever came to my mind, mm -hmm. right? And like, I, I guess with PK is the same thing. You just wanted to PK no matter really what happened, right? Whether or not you made a lot of money, whether or not like how many times you died, whatever. That, was that, that stuff was irrelevant. It was you didn't, literally fun. Yeah. yeah, you just didn't think I, about that stuff. You didn't think about, oh, what, what, what reward do I want? 
I have, a, I have a hot either. take. Yeah. What do you guys think of this? What if it's not that PvP is something people don't want to do anymore, but people just, there's so many other PvP games. That too. No, like, no part of it is that too. Like old school, like RuneScape is a grind game and there's PvP. But if you look at all these other games that are focused on PvP, people want the instant gratification. They'll play COD, they'll play Fortnite, yeah, they'll yeah, play PUBG, that, yeah, they'll play, big part they'll of play that. Mm -hmm. PvP games. So maybe they're just, maybe the people who used to PK on RuneScape, maybe they're playing PUBG right now. Maybe they're playing Blackout right now. But they that, just. That's a very good point. I yeah, mean, no, I really wonder. Because, because there was, those games weren't around back then. Yeah, because you can just jump into those games and get the. What PvP game was around in 2007? See, I'll refute that. Some RuneScapers play their games. Most RuneScapers don't. Okay, let's be real. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking PvPers. Of, yeah. I'm talking no, PKers. Yeah, especially, mm -hmm. especially PvPers, dude. They find the reason why they don't play the other games is because those games might actually take skill instead of 100% RNG. In RuneScape, the no, there's you're definite saying, skill, but you're, RNG, especially man, clanning wise, man, you can man, shit on about, people. And you're about talking it. about the current PKers. I'm talking about the PKers back in the day. Why are they no longer around? No, no, there's. It's because they're oh, playing the game. Yeah. That's oh, what I'm talking about. They might be around. Yeah, you, there's. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? There's. Like, that's the thing, man. You don't want to, like, fit all RuneScape PKers into one mold, but, like, because the thing is, is that there's definitely me. a lot of people that probably shifted over to other PvP based games. Right? Yeah. League of Legends is huge. Fortnite's huge. Like all those huge games are all PvP specific. There's what tons happened? of there's so. tons of PvP games now, but yeah. name another really good grind game that doesn't require MTX. Nah, there's really not much. Because <laughs> yeah. like 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 Pokemon? for RuneScape to even have PvP as an MMO based game, it's still pretty impressive as it is. It's amazing and yeah, it's, it's great. Still impressive. But it's just Yeah. Right, right now, I've always had that theory that that's yeah. the reason. That, yeah, like that right PK now, it's play. just most of our player base is still old ass people relative to back then, right? When we were a lot younger, when we weren't worrying about like, oh, what about rewards? Yeah. It's not rewarding. I don't want to go because it's like waste of time. Like, you know, I mean, back then it wasn't like we didn't care about the waste of time, right? It was all about what, what you just do. Because when we played RuneScape, yeah. I think we we're all pretty young, right? Yeah. yeah Breaksy's yeah. actually the only guy I know that actually britted back in the day. That yeah. and Bone Saw. Only two people I actually personally know that actually PK that like guy. that. Um, yeah. I do too. Uh, and, mo you know, most of those people back in the day that are like really good Brits, made videos, knew how to record and upload, were probably a lot older than us as a kid. Uh, they could be dead. <laughs> it's sad to say. <laughs> All right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're probably oh dead, God, bro. Jesus they're old as shit. I, 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 don't think, I don't think the entire PvP community of 2007 is dead right now. They didn't die. They just they just they 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 I, I can answer. I can answer. older and they moved on. Right. You know? they so did. this is what happened. In, this is what happened with PK and in PvP. Right. The game just evolved. Okay. People changed. Yeah, like I can. I can tell. I can tell you this. Right. Way older, back man. in the day with PK and. If you teleported or prayed when you were fighting against somebody, you'd instantly be put on ignore and nobody no would fight you and you'd never get into a clan. Yeah. And what basically happened, we had clans back in the in the day. The only one I can really think of back in my in my head is DI, which is damage incorporated. They were like one of the most Then they shut down. I, yeah. Honor they were, they were probably Yeah, yeah, and they were like open for the longest time. I don't know if they were the most honorable. They definitely were and they held old values. But like as time progressed, people evolved you know, people just changed to whatever the meta was. People realizing that, you know, not losing what you had on you because you didn't pray melee, it was a bad thing to die, you know, and you'd lose yeah, progress. People just got really lose... efficient. <laughs> yeah, and, and they so, got and older, the power they got more efficient. Well. Yeah. Weapons became it became ways yeah. you could die. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And like the game just evolved. The way that I see it now is we can we can't like single handedly do something which is gonna change people's mentalities. The game is gonna be played however people enjoy playing the game, whether it's toxic, whether it's a little bit of fun, or whether it's you know it's efficient uh, however, space, so. however they take it. But the best thing that you can do yourself is play the game how you want the game to be, right? So if you don't wanna be in a wilderness that's filled with toxic people, then you know, don't be toxic. Don't say stuff which is toxic. Don't exactly, flame man. back if they flame you. Be the better person. If you really want to go the extra mile, uh, make a, a a group of friends, bring them together that you know all have positive thoughts regarding the game and every aspect of it. Stick with those people, and you know, try not to let people that have all these bad ju judgments and toxic traits into that group. You know, if that's if that's something that you really want no, to do. That's... But at the end of the day, you can't change people's mentalities. We could sit here all day bitching about how clans and like top 
high score players are toxic as fuck. Nothing will ever change with that. Yes, it unless will. Unless they change themselves. Well, I don't know about high score. There, but... Look, there's nothing like like you suggested, like banning the people that are toxic in the wilderness and like do yeah, stuff no, like that, that. You can do that. Yes. Right. Oh, it would work. But uh, okay, let me explain hard. myself. I, I, hard I, I would love to I, I disagree myself, with that. I, no. I, I explain yourself. I'm so down for you to disagree. Uh, first off, I just gotta say, I, I I didn't mean to categorize every PKer into a certain mold. I've talked to a no, ton we, of we awesome know you PKers. Dude, right? <laughs> yeah, no, we know. I just want to say I don't want to get mad because there are some really chill people out there. Um, I get angry on this subject because I've been PKing. Uh, I don't know. I learned to PK like three years, and I've just been in the wild ever since. Like it's just fun to check around, and I've literally time lapsed these certain areas in the wild, dying over and over, single clans being more prominent. Right, and how I see the wilderness is it's a food chain, just like anything else. There's bots at the top, PVM or single PK or single clans, multi clans, dude. And that food chain is shifting down. The only thing really keeping re relevant is the bots. Other than that, there's this huge gap because it's just empty plains and there's nobody wants to go out. If you ban those certain people that are shitty and toxic, man, uh, the mob mentality is going to change. They might make a new account, get them again, dude. Fuck it. I'm telling you, if somebody plays the game and I want them to all, all right, well, enjoy RuneScape, yeah. but if they play the game and they make the game a shittier place, they make a tournament the shittier place, like Rot did. All right, another name drop for you, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, man. They should not. They shouldn't be allowed to play the game. If yeah. you're gonna play the game, possibly just to make the game shittier. Okay, so we... yeah, no, you're right. Like uh, in an ideal world, you you would punish oh, no, I agree. the it's people. Not. That Probably, are, you know... right. I, I've got a, yeah. an interesting question for you, Mint Pen. Do you right. feel like the effect of these toxic people in the wilderness have affected you personally and made you a better or worse person when it comes to it? Because uh, they affect like... me personally by fucking up my content. Because you, you know, have, how many people do you see streaming PK and content over a couple hundred views that aren't surrounded by like 500 people in singles just trying to protect them? How many people do you see? You can't do awesome content, man. You can't. It it literally fucks it up because it's not just one person being toxic or two people. It's like I said, that mob mentality thing. It spreads. You know, I've I was once stream snipe for ten hours straight doing Wilderness Slayer by twenty people. Twenty people, Whoa. ten hours. Can you imagine ten hours hunting one dude, no risk, only because you want to literally masturbate to that reaction? These are the people that will spread that way of thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take them no, out of right, the game right. so people... we can not only get PvP content on Twitch, inspire more PKers, have better content, but actually make the wilderness yeah, more fun yeah, for you're looking, at, you're, you're looking at it from a content creator side, which is okay. I'm looking at it from all I, sides. I, I, just, I understand the content creator side of that. In my opinion, I so how do I say this without offending somebody? Um, Ian and like Skidler and you know like the big the big dogs that are currently big dogs but yeah. they don't stream PVP anymore. Yeah. yeah. It totally makes sense why they don't stream PVP, right? They want to stream exactly. something that they can stream. And like you're saying you have can't really I yeah, may be like time. one of the and you're not, only you're not PVP wrong. streamers at the moment. That's you're not, not wrong like that in the current PVP meta they can't um do that well. Yeah. But a lot of the things you 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 want to suggest are suggested for the purpose of making streaming easier or contagration easier i think the root problem should be getting more people involved in it because right like well, ian, yeah. ian, if you ever watch ian and he, he's, you hear him talk about why he doesn't like pvp anymore oh, i've that. seen what they do to him like, yeah i understand if, if as a, a content creator wants to stay a content creator right so sometimes they'll adapt and they'll change what they do in game or what game they play or what what they do because they want to keep being a streamer or a youtuber right and it, it's understandable but if you want to, if you want what you want to do on stream to be changed as well, like if you want to be able to do what you want to do, you have to really make some good pushes for what is going to change that aspect of the game. So like PvP, you I've have tried. To, I know. I know you can just ban the ban the, the thirty people that you don't like. Yeah, that's that's one way to do it. But there's no, definitely it's... another way to do it too. And I don't See, know what that way is. I'm no, not, no, I, I, mean, I don't really PvP much, but I like there needs to be something else. No, yeah, I agree no because, it's just um, they don't have the resources to actually upkeep that process of banning particular No, people. I promise there's a lot of reports that go on red in the wilderness. Yeah, and from a content creator side, I see that you guys are seeing that I'm kind of biased in that way, but uh, seriously, like no one can stream PvP content, and the people who have literally don't do it anymore. Uh, but literally just from every person's side, and I think a lot of people agree with this, 
it's not just a content creator's problem. It, it's an everything problem. Yeah, no, I'll be I mean, they all and I'll see like, they all there like, needs to be a different solution, though. They all like kind of different you know, solution. Tangle up Ban together. toxicity, dude. Yes. Seriously, why yes. are people like um, okay, sick kids, see you, scum, I, whatever? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not why? disagreeing with you. No, but there like, are some I'm great just. I'm people just. Who yeah, people. The, yeah, the logistics of it though, it's going to be pretty hard. Logistics. Nah, dude, I'm not just, saying you're wrong. I just don't think that's gonna revive PvP. I think that's it's not gonna, gonna make, revive it, but it's gonna fun help. for you. Yeah, It'll I get help. that. Yes, yeah. It's not gonna make yeah. it more fun for me because they're gonna blame me, <laughs> and I'll get sniped by them. But <laughs> it, it just, is. I don't know, man. I just love the wilderness, and I'm really not seeing it do yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. This, so this let's next year. yeah, let's let's be like you um, know. And one more thing, though. One more thing. Sorry, it's yeah. just from the streamer biased. Every other game, you guys know what stream sniping is, right? Yeah. Every other game professionally just whatever uh it's bannable right even fortnite right even fortnite PUBG, stream snipers get banned for toxicity dude what does there's RuneScape a reason do? though you can't really stream sniping on mm. runescape isn't yeah because though. i've had pe because... i've had legit proof of them typing in my chat typing in there saying each other's no, names I, and shit, I, I and get it's that, like you, on nothing this, happens on on old school though it's it's different because on on pub g and 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 all those games it's like they're getting into your specific game which is very hard to do it's not very hard to find out what world you're in and just go there and just it's the same thing though exist in it's that not area. about the I process mean, this is, it's about the it's what happening man you yeah, know, yeah it's just no, I, get it, I, get it. I, I mean yeah jagex has jagex has put some bans on people before for constantly yeah, trying to you like, have to have some me. like you have to be you have like have a clips, though. Yeah. yeah you have to have a fair amount of uh relevance Evidence. And yeah, there's no, always that argument just... in the wilderness, like, oh, it's the wilderness. Don't go there if you don't want to get... Yeah, people. that is the biggest thing. You know, don't bring what you don't want to lose. And it's like, that's also the same thing as saying not crying. It's like, aren't you crying to my you opinion die, when you say stream, that? You don't want to die, dude. Yeah, 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 I, no, I, um... I totally get where you're coming from, but I just don't but, know if banning people is the solu yeah, solution. I'm yeah. saying, like, stream snap me all the time, dude. I always get through it. I just want the world to be more active. End, end point, man. And I think... Um, a lot of people don't want the wilderness to be more active. I mean, the sole point, and we okay, talk about so, another podcast, so, so, is to clear the wild in a way, right? Let, let's clear, yeah, let's, see let's simplify this. From what you're all, what you're saying is, what you're really saying is, I'm trying to like interpret it, right? Is, Boy, is you, that you I wanna mean, you wanna enforce stricter policies on how people behave nah, I'm in the not wilderness. Hitler, all right? I just want shitty people to get punished. Yeah, I know, I know, that's but yeah, that's what it is. Because like, like technically. These people are, they do do that already, right? It's no. just they're not doing it in a scale <laughs> that that you're. If you don't for. have relevance, if you don't have like mod numbers, you're not gonna get. People yeah. Banned. So the, what you're saying is um, they should have, they should take it more seriously. Is that what you're saying? Seriously, right? in a way, it's the only thing they should take seriously about the wilderness. That's like the main thing. That's yeah. Uh, okay. It keeps so people so playing, you're, you're addressing what you're addressing is that there is inadequate, you know policy like enforcement policy on how you do May I chip in? can i chip in my two cents on this topic yeah. if that's no no i'm just kidding <laughs> Go for so it. i i think with banning the toxic players like i personally don't have a problem with people talking banning shit, muting anything doing, man. like the, unless they're breaking the rules i ain't got a problem with it if you choose to stream in the wilderness then you take that risk of being attacked and just Agreed. showing people where you are okay but I think that banning people for being toxic is a short-term uh, short solution to uh, a bigger thing. And the long-term solution for it is, I don't know. There needs to be so there needs to be yeah, a no, long-term Nobody term knows. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's so funny. No. It's, it's, but yeah, like, because I, it's an I MMO. Think, it's weird. It's, I don't it's think MMO. that banning people for being toxic, I, I think it would work. It'd be a short-term um, way of dealing with it. But I think in the long-term and like the longevity of the game, I, it wouldn't change much. I think it would be the same. There'd just be a new crowd of toxic people that would come in. People would be even more toxic towards you for the fact that you got people banned for being toxic, and they wouldn't well, like that. That's I'm not just trying the way it to works. save the wilderness as a streamer. Like I said, stream snap me all you want. I'm gonna still be out there enjoying the wild. I just want to go into the wild and find people and have fun. You know, and that's not the case anymore unless you're at revs. And this is why I'm bringing it up. I'm not bringing it up from a streamer standpoint. I've been sniped for like five years, dude. I hit up top page Reddit one time because uh, Dev MO Tata told me to drink bleach or it was some, some other clan, dude. Like, I don't care. I'll go to a family reunion. My uncle slapped my ass and say, what's your boyfriend, dude? I get shit talked <laughs> all the time. I can uh -huh. handle it. People can't. This is why I'm not coming from my standpoint. I just want the will to be more active. Now, if you yeah, want okay. an actual will yeah. rejuvenation mm -hmm. plan, 
I have I have steps, I have, I have process. Uh, it's in the back of my mind, but there's just a couple things like maybe another chin spot, uh, more single area activity, etc. But at the end of the day, dude, if you don't take these people out of the game or out of the wilderness, or at least mute them, dude, seriously, just just mute or right. something, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you I can got, always I defend toxic people, but have you ever thought about fighting fire with fire? Right. So what you're saying right now is you're getting targeted. You're obviously like you know you get quite upset about people focusing you and being toxic. That's yeah. fair enough. But I get more upset thought, that the Willie's dead, but yeah. Ha, have you ever thought about fighting fire with fire in the sense of sticking within the rules, right? If you're doing something in the wilderness, join a clan. You know, get a clan to watch the stream or watch a f get a few people that, that are there and you can get no, them agree. to come. And, you know, if someone's attacking yeah. you, fight back the way it should be done. It's the wilderness at the end of the day. There's no rules. But Rainsy, the from, thing is, you're coming uh, from a standpoint where you don't even PK anymore. You made one video... I'm not talking about me, dude. Okay, I yo, stream Willie content. Yo, let's be let's okay be, to be stream side. Let's be okay, real. Yeah, I don't think we're really getting anywhere with this with this discussion because, right. to be honest well, with last, you, there's no solution. You know, there's Agreed. just no solution to this. But it's fun, right? To talk the wilderness about is one of those right. systems that is kind of. I'll be honest, it's, it's kind of dated. You know, a lot of people have moved on to more uh, rural placed PvP stuff, right? And then the whole like, oh, everything, every anything goes in a wilderness. It, it's kind of an outdated system, and you just can't Dude, that's really fix why, it. That's why, you know. That's why I wish LMS was better too, because like the ecosystem. Right. I, like, I heard they were like, coming. You know, with an I update. said before, there's nothing to really gain out of. Like you can't really fix the wilderness. Let's well, be real. apart, <laughs> yeah. But like as far as we can tell, you look yeah. at you look at a game like LMS. There is something to gain there. You can get a get a high elo. Yeah. You can get like a really high. Yeah, elo we always talk you, about the elo thing. Out. But they it definitely wouldn't be in the like wilderness, a, though. They never bring out, like, this. a ranked ELO system. I don't know they how a, a wildy ELO could go, though. I don't know how they could do that. Without uh, yeah, they can't. We, said, we already we said before we that we couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah it, would, it, it wouldn't be in the wilderness. It'd be separate. But, like, yeah. if oh, they okay. could change... Changing people's mentalities would work better for the long term of the wilderness and the game in general than just a short-term solution of just banning people. I well, strongly disagree with that. Yeah. I just want to defend myself saying that I don't... This yeah, is no, not you, a problem you, you, for yeah, me, man. You I mean, it. you got like Rakesy keeps saying, yo, if you want to fix your stream sniper problem, it's like it's a problem that will never really be fix it. You know? Okay, Rakesy, I always am at the Wildy. I'm trying to get some good content for my boys. The thing is, yep. when I go in the wild, I want to find people. I want to. Uh, if you saw my last video, it took me two months to save up all those clips. I mean, uh, there's just nobody out there, and this is why I'm angry. Not because someone's gonna call me a bitch or a yeah, punk no, or whatever. You're, you're sad to see that the wilderness people. is like fading. Yeah. You know, it's fading this is away. why I talk but, so much. It's like I actually yeah. give a shit. I'm no. not here trying to ban yeah, every yeah, no, or whatever. Like, what we're I just want to see some people in the wild. Yeah, what I you know, what really I really think though. is that the wilderness okay. is slowly like it's slowly becoming slowly, less fast. relevant. <laughs> yeah, or fast <laughs> or fast forward is is pretty much dying out, which is. I mean, like, it's just people shift over to a more proper PvP. You, you know, know that PvP setting. arena. Yeah. You know, you know it's the PvP arena. I do that. I hope that comes in. Whatever it was. Yeah. So imagine, imagine this. Imagine that thing is so sought after to be a high rank in because it's like value. Elo, like, right? And you have like Elo. The, high, the highest skill in the game comes from that. Yeah. What yeah. People, people strive to do that, right? But when they can't, when their team's not on, or when they their duo partner isn't on, or whenever their whatever isn't on. They go casually to the wilderness, or people who want to get good at that, but they don't want to do it yet. Maybe it makes, maybe it costs something to do. They're not doing that, so they want to learn to PK. They go to the wildy. So then, like, it's like you know how you're saying dead man tournament is the hardcore and seasonal is the casual. Yeah. What if wildy was the casual and the PvP arena was the hardcore in the nice. terms of PvP on old school? Yeah, that would that would be really good. I think that would be a good solution because Rakesy actually make, talked you get to people somebody people into PvP. Board. Yeah, there'd be a reason to be good at PvP. Yeah, so you people would go the wildy to learn PvP, and then they they take that knowledge and they yeah. Go but to the, the thing is, is that you have to redefine the rules of the wilderness because right now is obviously as you say, anything goes, and if you get clanned, you can't really learn how to PK like I that. I think that's how the wildy the wildy right. should be like that. The wildy yeah, is like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. completely agree, man. Um, Rakesy, because we were talking about ELO rank in another podcast, and Rakesy went to this Gamma Show Award, and you talked to a JMod, and they were actually considering it, which is oh, very yeah. exciting. Yeah, no, they said they're working on it. They're, they're working on it. Work. Like, yeah. how pog is that? I cannot wait. It's going to be sick. And I hope yeah. LMS gets updated, mm -hmm. too, because I actually miss it a lot. Um, I would talk to Bodhi at TwitchCon, and we were talking about some uh, updates. What's the best way to implement. release it? So, would, um, it be, well, would it be a, 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 any, any versus from 1v1 to 10v10 or something like that? Or would it be... What Are you talking about the bands? ELO or LMS? Yeah, I'll be no, 1v1s. I'm about yeah. ELO in general. Yeah, the 1v1s. ELO is a 1v1. Um, in different so you're skilling and you kind of queue up. 
and all of a sudden you match in. What if they did it? What if they did it for a system where you could have teams with Elo as well? I yeah, think they got to build up to that. Like a four v four team where this team has a fifteen hundred Elo, this team has a thirteen hundred Elo, or like yeah, it, it would yeah, just maybe, maybe, maybe be so combined. Like it would just it would just add up everybody's Elo and then divide and combine like that. Yeah, I think the if team ones are like really complicated because of three guys the... like one K. I think yeah, once I think the team one has to do with engine stuff more though. Because yeah, they have to like I really identify how people. There. Yeah, yeah, I think that that would make me interested in PvP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, there was if there mm-hmm. was a way to show actual improvement, that would be something that I'd be interested in. Mm-hmm. A way to progress and a way to actually improve and get better. Yeah, like yeah, the issue with the, the wilderness. Is you go out there, you, you fuck stop. around. You don't yeah. like yeah. nobody goes to the wildy to like. I don't yeah, know. That's what yeah. PvP I mean, world like for, maybe those. single maybe in singles there's some there's some hardcore braid fights going on, but. Usually that, those those fights are like there's not they're few and, and far. It's the same people, yeah. you know. Uh, I'll, I'll go I'll go back to saying I think it just comes down to mentality. Like when I go into the wilderness nowadays, I don't take it too seriously. I go out there to have fun. That's it. If I die, I die. If I get flamed while I die, fuck it. I don't care. I, yeah, I've been in that position go there before. Every day, you know, you know yeah, it's, it's just day. one of those things. It just comes down to however you go into it. Is more than likely how you're going to project yourself while you're there. You know, for me personally, I go in the wilderness just to have fun nowadays, and I have fun while doing it, regardless of the outcome. You know, that's my yeah. mindset with it. Yeah, yeah funny, man. Okay, like well, so many people die on a video game, they get really mad. It's like dying on a video game is nothing to be ashamed of, man. It's a video game, you know. That's I the ego t- thing, dude. People, exactly. people don't want to die. They die. They feel like they're like their earth is shattered. Right. If I die, like if. That was me. I would never be able to stream it because I I'm dying constantly, right? It, it, the, people are not gonna have fun in the wild until you die and you just you're okay with it. Other than that, you just be yeah. too stressed. Yeah, you're just not gonna enjoy it. And that's probably uh, maybe where some of that mentality comes from. It's just like I don't want to die when I'm stressed, not having fun here. I'm PKing. When really it's like you're having a good time. Who gives a shit? That's yeah. how people should look at it in a way. You, uh, it shouldn't be taken so seriously. Like, if no, you want to, really if you want to, if you want to enjoy your time in the wilderness, you can't take it seriously. You're gonna die at some point. It's inevitable. You gotta go in there just after some fun or whatever you're going in for, and just ride the wave and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. You know, but, like yeah. back back in the day when I was in clans, like if I died, I would be sweating it because I know that there'd be a serious consequence, which could be me getting kicked from the clan if it was from like a bad hybrid or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Whereas, like, nowadays, if I die, I'm just like, oh, well, fuck, he actually did really well to kill me there. Or, oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have died there. I should have clicked my brain. Exactly. You know? Exactly, man. Exactly how I feel. That's, yeah, I, that's what yeah, I want. Take that's the why I always make. of the wilderness and put it into something else. That's, that's why I always make it. guides, like, because people will go in the wild if they can make money. So I'll make, like, a, how to make money in the wilderness, no skill guide or something, just to get people out there, man. Because seriously, it's not going to be afraid of, mate. I mean, I. At Just the moment, I'm playing demo mode tournament, and like, I don't know, man. I'd say it's pretty much up there with like the most toxic PvP content. And what I'm saying regarding that is like, last night I stayed up until seven in the morning trying to get DT done because there was like a level 120 in Tata that was camping me at troll height. <laughs> and I just, end, I ended up, I ended up boxing a troll while flicking prey melee for 20 minutes, just talking to the guy. Couldn't find any common ground. He called me an idiot and stuff, uh, and then he ended oh. up attacking someone, and I ran away. You know, ah. but then straight straight away after that, went to the barrows, and there's two people sat there that are just with emerald boltsy poisoning you as you're going down in the top. Oh, that's so annoying. You know, but yeah. it's it's just one of those things. You just got to deal with it. And I personally like to just fight fire with fire. If I ever get attacked, I attack back. I ain't going down without a fight. If somebody takes me to the ground, I'm gonna do my very best to hurt them as much as I possibly can. And that's the mentality I take into the game as well. And that's how I have fun, you know? Well, that's, that's the me. thing, man. That's that's a tournament, though. Yeah. That's not really the wilderness. Yeah. Like, Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that's that what I'm saying. Cool. It's like the extreme yeah. side of it where there's actually a prize of money at the end of it. Like, that yeah, brings it out in people even more, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's why the guy's level 120. He's probably not right. much sleep, so, angry shit. So. A- as a group, let's try to think, just to summarize, and yeah. just try to, like, scoop that up. Yeah. What do we think could be a solution whether short term or long term to possibly making the world be less toxic what do you More think single uh, area areas where it's like if you're there you'll make money right it doesn't have to be a boss or something but yeah if they just added because let's let's say chins right used to be a hot spot now no one 
you know, you'd have to have a total level special account to catch chins. It's that fucked. What if they just made two chin spots, right? Same 30 wild as just, you know, one can't be camped. So it's like more people come out there catching chins, bring more solo PKers in there, more stuff like that. Just things that attract not PKers into the wild that are in singles, PKers will swarm. Because that's the food okay. chain, right? Top of the, you know. See, I got ideas other than just banning toxic people. I just didn't want to, you know, make the whole stream about <laughs> okay. that. That's that's a valid uh, argument. So you're asking for more resources in the wildy that aren't specifically. Yeah, just be smart about it. I like, think, I think okay. the. Uh, I don't know though. I don't know how I feel about a wildy rejuvenation because like wildy no, rejuvenation. Yeah, I don't they think love we call, need They more. love calling it wildy rejuvenation. They're yeah, very careful yeah. with their words. It's like they're trying to. They don't, make they it. don't call it PV, PVP rejuvenation. They call yeah, it. Yeah, no. It, yeah. Okay, so there's a flaw. I feel like with the, the, the predator and prey aspect. Yeah, it's, it's a flaw. It's so boring. Yeah, no, it's a flaw. They, it's. I don't think it works. What's, well, what, what about what, you, Rice? What, what, what do you think? Regardless what really of what, is we spoke happening, about this for yeah. What what really is happening is just that there's really not much reason to go to the wilderness at all. Yep. Right? Because if you want to do a PvP fight, you'd rather do it in a more structured way. Where whether it's like, you know, your your demo mode, like tournament, or like, you know, a competitive aspect like Fortnite, you know, matches, cute matches, right? Or like League of Legend Q matches, right? Like that's really how people prefer it because it's just way more efficient. It it gets rid of all the uncertainties of random ass people, you know, just piling on you or just unexpected things, right? You wanted to kind of know that you're on equal playing ground somewhat. Well, when I play so, RuneScape, I kind of enjoy the whole randomness area of the wilderness. That's why I go into it other than wilderness. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, is that it's very niche. That's a very niche preference. Do people? No, are no people, I think are a lot of people are still like interested that. in loot these days. That's that's one thing. Oh, definitely. You see Mystic, you get a bone ski. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, you know, that's, 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 hard on a Mystic. And when you get an Elo system and a and a and a P PVP arena and all that, you don't get a loot. Thing. Maybe you do. Maybe you get loot because you. But like the maybe, maybe in, the, is maybe the in those fights, that'd yeah. be interesting. In those fights, you could wager. You could you wager. Get the yeah, yeah. Game. Um, but like, but like the thing is, is that like the incentive for going in there is is just not attractive for most people. Because like, even if you make it like, it's profitable. Well, I might as well just do four cap, right? Yeah. Get rid of all that uncertainty and just make four uh, on an hour. Yeah. Like, you know what? what I think that that's one of the reasons I yeah. started seeing the wildy is more fun than what it was competitive for me. Was that I could go to the wildy and yeah, I could PK somebody for like full bandos, arcane. But, but yeah, it's one very in like rare two to... months, you know. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I can just go do raids for like a week and make way more money than I ever would PK. And that's why it's yeah, like, like if I die in the wildy, I don't work. care. Yeah, it it's like a mystic, work. a mystic yeah. set to me is like a drop in the ocean. Who gives yeah, a it's shit? Just, it's, just a, it's just a penny, you know. But like yeah. that—that's the problem. Is that you know? What I mean, like trying to tie the wilderness to a reward is pointless. Well, no. Okay. You in a way, saying? and I just want to like bring monetary up, wise, it's pointless, right? Like Elo is different; it's well, intrinsic. You can't to bring people in weigh the wild in with with how much other than money. They actually did the wilderness altar, and that is actually one of the hotter spots of the wild, other than revs. And but, that's yeah, but it's like, do you really yeah. like that type of PvP? Oh though? yeah, dude, that shit is fun. There's a multi to single area. Yeah, they okay, so again, okay, okay. See, that's, that's like the that thing is, is that you like it, but not many people do like. It. Oh, it's think, well, that that place is interesting because it's like PKers running to each other all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's, it's the whole thing. Well, where I'm saying like, that's yeah, but like, yeah, food chain. That's the food chain. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's the future. Right, so hypothetical, just to wrap this up, not not talking about toxicity or anything, talking about yeah. wildy rejuve. So yeah. we're, we're all kind of agreeing on the fact that if the wildy had more resources, like skill in areas, etc., um, how would you guys feel if that was taken to like the extreme, where almost like pretty much every other level in the wildy, somewhere across the wilderness, there was something for skillers to be doing, whether it was in single, multi, whatever, and the wildy just became a place which was booming for skillers, which would also lead to PKers having a good time as well. because That's what Black Chips well, yeah, no, right? that's See, but, but that's, people hate that's that. That's really rejuvenation. A lot of yes, people killers, hate that. Yeah. Killers hate that. I it fucking hate that. Yeah, it doesn't really like... I hate I mean? that you have to go to the Wildy to get the yeah. best Hunter XP in the game. That's like, so fucking the people, annoying. You're, like, you're forcing people that don't even want to PK into the PK and see, you know? Yeah. What, what, okay. what really, what really kind of like not indirectly needs to happen is obviously, like we said before, I might have forgotten is that we need to make PvP in general more popular, right? So if you make this ELO system somewhere down the line where people can do queue matches and like, you know, it becomes a big deal, right? It becomes like competitive. Yeah. 
like there's like a tournament there's like a you know like a championship thing going on behind it it gets like a massive okay. following right and then like so, a lot of people start going into like the whole pvp scene because they think there's value to it right not just gp rewards because like gp per hour it's all like you know every, everything in this game is already like so fixed on that and there's other ways to make shit ton of money anyways right it's like yeah it's like don't make it about how much gp per hour you can make or whatever make it more about how prestigious it is to even pvp right so like you do this whole system, right? The ELO thing goes well, the tournament thing goes well. It gets a huge traction, right? There'll be a lot of people that just go inherently want to try it, right? Just because it's popular, it's, a, it's relevant. It means a lot, the ELO means a lot. And then eventually there will be a spillover, right? A spillover of people just, just kind of like, they know how to PVP and they want to do it more casually, right? So like instead of just forcing themselves in a match, where it's all about Bloody ELO, sure where ELO's on the line, they just go in the wilderness and just do their thing, right? Nothing is on the line for them, right? How much money they make doesn't really matter. How many times they die in there doesn't really matter. It'll be just there so that they can train without a cost. Yeah. Or they can go with their they, boys. I, okay, I really, really like that you said that because yeah. I, like, I thought you were going to just say, like, make it go all into ELO. I was like, oh, no, don't do that because then you get rid of the casuals. Yeah, exactly. The casuals no, no. like... Just casual peaking. Yeah, so yeah. like if you want to like... Who are, some yeah. people, I'm not going to say casuals isn't like new players, but some people just like to play casually. Yeah, exactly. So like if if you, you know, you're a big deal, you got like the high elo and you start streaming some stuff, you can honestly, you know, set up something in the wilderness, right? Like yeah. sh just start something, right? Because you have that traction. They know you're the shit. Like you got the high elo. You can, you can do some community PvP events or whatever in the wilderness. Because yeah. you can't really do that in the elo system. You can't bring them all in one place. If you want a PVMer or a skiller to get interested, yeah. this is my take now. If you want a PVMer yeah. or a skiller to get interested in PvP, it either has to be ridiculous money or it has yeah. to have some sort of progression to it. Whether it's an ELO system yeah. or you, you like a way a way to tell that you're progressively getting better at it and that you can kind of not necessarily rank yourself, but that you can say, I I know how good I am and I know where I can improve and I know what level I'm at. And being able to get up to a certain level, like that, needs to be a, a factor in PvP, whether it's in yeah. the wilderness or yeah. an arena or something. Yeah, yeah. But just like, drive, driving driving people thing. to driving people to PvP, it intrinsically it, it it will make people want to go to the wildy, whether or not they're doing it because they're bored, or because um they they just can't get an elo match like or a fight right now in a in a tournament like with somebody in the same elo, people will go to the wildy if you just like it's it's like it's a slayer. spillover naturally you'll, you'll like, slayer over. does this right yeah. slayer, slayer they do this really well with slayer they propose a slayer update people vote yes to the update the slayer update comes more people try slayer people see people at the top end of slayer enjoying slayer so they want to get their slayer up so those people slaying ask for more slayer updates and then it just it snowballs it snowballs yeah, yeah, you know, like with pvp you get a you get a really good pvp update like a like the pvp arena or making an elo system in clan wars or an elo system somewhere yeah. where pvp exists lms it has yeah. elo system but they didn't obviously improve lms a lot um but that's yeah. a different topic I hope they do. but I hope you, they do. you do that and then people will want to pvp and then you add more pvp stuff and the people trying pvp will ask for more pvp stuff and then it's just it's a snowball effect and we need I to get that i home. really like i like that take on it you i really, really do need ELO system it, it, it's kind want. of it, it's made over. me think in a way that with Wildy Rejuvenate, however you say that word, <laughs> um, I, 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 feel like, I feel like that's like a temporary fix for something which won't be fixed long term. Where you're right, yeah. if they did bring out a really good ELO system that was outside of the wilderness, that could be the case of like people gain ranks. Jagex could literally say like once you get to like a certain ELO, whichever one they choose it to be, and say like this is what the average PK error is at. And then once people reach that, they may feel comfortable going into the wilderness and seeing how they actually fare against people out there. Because it's, you know... Yeah, because yeah, then it's I a free-for-all, that. you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, like naturally you yeah. spill over, right? Like, yeah. I want to take Slayer, for example. Like, because you know how it is? How do people get into bossing? A lot of it's through Slayer. Let's be real, right? Because, like, a lot of people are like, oh, man, I don't really find bossing, like, a thing for me. I, I just don't feel comfortable. I'm scared of dying. Blah blah blah, but then you know you. But then you have Slayer, right? It's kind of like middle ground. You know, you train your Slayer, you just kill some easy mobs, and then all of a sudden you unlock a Slayer creature that has like a boss variant, and you're like, ooh, you know, there's a boss version. I'm gonna <laughs> give that a try, and then you know they get into it, and they're like, oh, I like this. I, I kind of like bossing. Let's go do it. Whereas, yeah, so, that, so it's that, like, dude, that it's fits, like that. 
that fits so well with yeah, the Yeah, that's PvP the whole thing with the Elo that, thing, you know? That yeah. fits so well with that, because like I said yeah. in a prior podcast, if they made it so it's free to enter into a certain rank, and then when you get to a certain rank, yeah, and you then, then you have start to doing pay it. money. Pay, yeah. Obviously, if, you, if you're having to pay money, there's the risk of you losing that money or winning big money or however they decide to do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's a, a really good suggestion. I think yeah. So it, like, it's, it's like all all fights below twelve hundred elo are free. Yeah. Something like that. But, just but a number. Above twelve hundred, yeah. above twelve hundred, twelve hundred elo. Anybody you fight has to risk a certain amount, and you have to risk a certain amount. Yeah. Either whether it's throw, whether it's a stake where you put up a, some some GP, or yeah, there, the there should be fight, like a minimum the maximum. Gets that though. person's loot, yeah. like their loot falls to the floor, and you have like two minutes to loot it. Kind yeah. of like you would have in the wilderness where you can loot somebody. I feel like Something people get like lured that. if they did the, that. But yeah. No, but the thing is, like, once you're in a hot elo, though, you can't lure each other. You know what I mean? Because, like, you I know. I mean, if that... you have the option to kind of, like, yeah. click whether you, you lose all you your can, loot or you cash, you know what I mean? Smart. What if someone just clicks that button, you know? Just... You can. Wait. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. If it's high elo, you're fighting a high elo guy, right? So, like, everything just. Wait, 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 people can make what, smart. Say what you meant. What do you what do you mean by that when you said that? Well, if there's two options, like, if you lose all your gear or you just do GP. But if they uh, just flip no, the not gear, gear. No, no, just just GP. Yeah, that's what I'm it's saying. Like, it, would be, it would be one of the two systems. I'm not saying have both systems. Yeah, no, it's just GP. Okay. Make it simple. Right, you know, yeah. keep it simple. Like it's just bad things happening there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. keep it simple. Okay. Do the GP thing. You know, like keep a minimum maximum, right? So, I would love so to see that come like, in the game. Not too, too crazy. But I'd like, be able to learn idea. other Brits and stuff. Can't yeah, yeah, but do, like, you want, yeah. do you want to stay on PvP? Because I have some really good suggestions for LMS yeah. that they really need to add. Dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, segue, the... I'll segue you into that because I was talking to Bodhi and huh? uh, we both thought that if you just kind of take away the prayer points for the first couple minutes of the game, it already immaculately gets better. So you don't have that rune scheme versus rune battle axe prayer bird fight for 10 minutes, right? You're... So I'll take it a step further. Yeah. So you know there's a lobby. There needs to be a second lobby, which only lasts thirty seconds to a minute. Yeah, it's like a queuing lobby. This is this is what it'll be. Yeah, Fortnite. This is, style. This is something they <laughs> Fortnite. Yes, this is what they need to do. Um, God, uh, people are gonna. I I don't know if people like this or not. I really think this is a great idea. You have you know how you get the tokens when you kill people or you exchange items, right? In the in the little the little things where you get the um blood can, like, tokens. Buy, like, yeah, blood tokens. That's the things. Yeah. yeah. You know how you get those um, what, for killing people or for st- like selling an extra thing back? You start out with 20 to 30. And in that, that second lobby, the 30-second 30, the 30 second one-minute lobby, there's an gear. open chest, and you can you can start with a starter pack. Now, you can still loot the chests in LMS for better, better rewards that you can't get from the shop and for food and for other things like that. Prayer is unlimited. And those 20 to 30 tokens you have, you can have presets too. So you can choose, the meta will be formed very quickly, but you can choose a preset of, let's say you want to have Black Dehyde, M- or MSB, and uh, Rune Sim. That's like the meta. And mm-hmm. like two sharks or something like that. And you start out your, your fight with that. You don't start naked. Nobody yeah, likes no, the start of You don't so want to start man. naked. Yeah. See, that's you the start with, goddamn with a, idea a I've ever heard. small loadout. Yeah, not nothing basic. too big, and you still want to be lo- looting chests to get better loot and to get better food and all that. You still have to do it to get a whip. You can't get a whip from the starting or something. Maybe maybe so, just something like that, right? But you start with a small amount so you can get some gear, but you can't have a full set. And yeah, you, you got some upgrade food. Later. Yeah, as you go. But that would make LMS extremely fun and way less of like a, a RNG or yeah, fair it, flicking it, would, it, would remo- it would lower the RNG, lower the variance. Yeah. See, I Somebody's... love that, man. That's such a good idea. I had the idea where you just start off with like some Zerakin robes and a regular yeah, yeah, red like, set, yeah, but yeah, actually yeah, exactly. forming your own shit was simple. Yeah. They, Something they you feel that, that but I, th- I think choosing your own, like choosing kind of like a loadout, like a like a like a Call of Duty thing, like you choose out. Yeah, yeah, like out. you know, keep keep but it you... not too crazy though, gear. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low, low that'd be level, so nice. Sure. Like honestly, even I level twenty gear. Like even if you're if you're able to start with level twenty gear, that'd be better than being naked. Because that, at least you feel like yeah. you have something to tank. Start a with a, bit. a small something, but you still have to loot chests if you want to get yeah. food or better gear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see that come into the game because I feel that like really needs to come. Did you tell them about the? I have uh, mentioned it once. Lobby? Hit him up with that. I mentioned it, but they just I, I mentioned to Aiza. They have so much shit. Like, hey, he's I, gone I, now. Yeah. I feel like uh, to start off though, logistically, is get the ELO system going, and then there will be a lot of spillovers for other things. You know, whether yeah. it's wilderness casual fighting, or like something like you know uh, the you know battle royale, whatever. You know, last man standing. So Zulu whisper Bodhi that idea because Bodhi's actually. I think, I think I he's, that. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah because I would love Bodhi to owns Shaq. Ex, you know, real. Bodhi fun. owns yeah. <laughs> He pretty much does. Uh, he's Dude, the what real. What are your thoughts on Aiza, man? 
Yeah, I, 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 I RS will suffer without him, I think. Yo, I'm gonna miss him, but I might also miss him. The progression of RS will suffer without him. Uh, you know, I thought he was the real shit. I thought he was the real shit. I mean, I thought he was the real shit. From what he said, he's very honest about, like, you know, controversial shit. And he's like my go to guy, dude. Yeah, so. See, I, I didn't like... get to know him that well, which makes me sad because he looked like I was trying to, you know, I was watching his streams. I was trying to get to know him, actually. Um, he seems yeah. like a really good thing for RuneScape, but I now I'm never going to get that chance. To yeah, actually... no, I, I based just based on no, his Twitter either, stuff, so. you know, I could tell he he was obviously very open to hear all sides of the stories of anything in the game. Yeah. So that's good because you need that. You know, you kind of need to figure out what is actually going on from all angles. Cause that's Dude, how you make I, the best updates. I'm hoping they just offer him like a massive pay rise and he stays. That'd be fucking Yeah, just amazing. like, you know, like, I don't know, let him work at home. Nah, well, it's kind of sucks. The thing is, really it's, it's not going to matter regardless because it's yeah. his fiance. Did you, did you watch the video? Yeah, yeah, I, I saw it. It was to do with like the uh, the travel time. And... Yeah, traveling yeah, and shit. So he, too much. he bought a house before he worked at Jagex and that yeah. house yeah. is where his fiance is at. I believe his family's career, at, right? Yeah, and I believe his fiance's career is in that area. So he doesn't want to have to make her sacrifice her career to move. Yeah, he's close to he's, the, he's and gonna do he it. He doesn't want to keep living in that apartment that he was living in just because he just to be closer to Jagex. Mm -hmm. Like it's just yeah, it's, yeah. it's just uh, not gonna work, man. We just need more people that obviously are not afraid to confront controversial stuff in the game, <laughs> especially balancing stuff. You know, he did. Yeah, he yeah, did no, mention you're the thing. Right, you're right, man. Yeah. <laughs> You, you get a lot of haters about, for that. Uh, you get a lot of haters. Oh, dude, I'll take all funny. the haters, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's mod Minty. Mod Minty, dude. I'll make a good... I don't yeah, have a code, like, and I don't know how to draw. Yeah, like, to talk, yeah like there, there's one thing I want to get into, and it's like talking about like how the skilling landscape is going with updates, but I don't know if we have time, because it's... You know, we could do skilling another video. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, do you guys yeah. want to wrap this up? Yeah, we can go for a part two, honestly, at some point. I think we'd be down for a part two if you guys want. I mean, this is being a really good podcast, dude. Because we've not even spoken about the stuff we were meant to. Yeah. Like, the only, like, I, I originally was thinking about talk talking about, lot, like, skilling updates yeah. and stuff. Because, you know, Sulu, you you do so much on that. You know you know what's up with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's dude, okay. We can move that for next we'll time. We'll definitely have to have you on again if you want to yeah. come on, man. Uh -huh. It's been yeah, great. It's, it's been oh, amazing. Yeah. Thanks thanks a lot for coming on, Zulu. Uh, course, where can man. the thanks people find me. you? Uh, your plug social everything, media? dude. Your merch. Twitch.tv Twitch .tv slash Zulu. Merch. There's a merch. You do a merch command and I do my Twitch channel. You can do that. Um, my YouTube is really John, but if you just search Zulu OSRS, you can probably find me there. Uh, yep. Twitter is Zulu only. Uh, I don't have an Instagram at the moment, but I think I want to get one. Eventually. Oh, you, you should. After Rex, you talking yeah. about that, dude? I, I feel like I'm missing out on the Inst the RS Instagram, dude. I feel like I need oh, to go. RS Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really use Snapchat, so that's yeah. I've I've plugged myself already. Stay away. But Stay uh, away from beautiful. Snapchat. Yeah. All right, check dude, it out for some PVM and skilling. We will link all of your social medias down. Oh in crap! The why is it always oh, hosting somebody? Never mind. I was I was guys, trying to host somebody. somebody. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you of guys course. go over and drop Zulu a follow. It's been an honor. Thank you very much for coming on, man. And, Thank you guys uh, for having me. I'm sure Thanks. the audience are going to enjoy this one. It's been great. And remember, guys, yeah. we do have ModJed t-shirts down below. $40, extra large only. And uh, thanks for watching us. Oh, yo, yo, if you Every ever, Sunday. If, if you get all the way to the end of this video, bro, let us know what title to put. I will send you Because I was thinking, Majed. like, yo, Sulu reveals all his dirty secrets or something. That's, like, the title. Oh, no. I, don't know. I, I was, I was thinking Zulu something leaked. along the lines of, like, I don't know, premium Snapchats and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, comment, comment, comment below. Comment dirty room fetish. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty room fetish. I like yeah. that. All right, thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah, that was. That was